All right, we're live. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the late night Pokemon card live stream. We're getting closer to a regular start time. Look at that. This time I didn't fall asleep, um, but I was watching a Netflix series and we just couldn't stop watching. We we're finishing off the Bernie Madoff uh, docu-series, and I really enjoyed it. I like uh, financial stories. Of course, I was aware of pretty much all the pieces of the story because I had followed that over my lifetime the whole way. Like, I remember when it all went down, I was kind of younger and the 9-11 attacks had occurred. So, it, But it was fun because Netflix presented it in a fun way. So we got uh, the Lost Thunder Box break and the Plasma Blast Pack break. This is nearly done. This will finish tonight, this guy right here. This is more than halfway done. It could finish tonight. Liza, what's up? <coughs> I'm dying over here. Give me that grip, says Smoked cloud, uh, Cowboy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's one spot in Plasma Blast. It's over, basically. Um, let's see. There was one guy who wanted me to do a big thing. Here it is. It was Curtis Noskier, and he wants a refund. He wants his slab away canceled. And said, donate bag, donate slabs. Okay, give me a moment, Curtis. Mr. Curtis. Kobe, Colin, Cole, C Courtney, Cooper. What's up, Wavu? It's who, Wavu? Ugh. Connor, Connor. Curtis Noskie. Did his boo find out about the cards? I don't know. He's got a lot of holographics, though, and these are going to be donated. There we go. And then the energy card. Some more holographics. All right, we'll put this to the side and save them for giveaways. Um, but the question is where to put them. I have nowhere to put them. Oh, you know what? I do have a place to put them. I'll put them back here for now. Temporary temporary spot. Okay. He says, don't eat slabs. I'm going to contact Mr. Mike Sot. Uh, not Mike Sot. I'm going to contact Mr. Pokey John. Here it is. John has Pokey Stop. Curtis Noskia is donating to me his slabs. Please retrieve. All right, and now for the slab away. Let's get that canceled. Mr. Curtis, you're going to donate yourself to cheese. What? Turn that down a little bit. You think it's that easy, huh? You think cheese will just take you. What's up, Mike Side? Uh, so we need to find out what he had. That's the first step. Curtis is going to be under slab away. And he had... Here it is. The MS-69 Completer Coin. Oh, I know what you had. Okay. So I have to go find it now. Curtis will be over here. Okay, so we got this completer coin. We have to go see what its price is, okay, before I do the refund. But I don't think its price would have gone up or down too much, so don't worry about it. Completer coin, and this is called the Queen's Beast Silver. So it's a silver. We're going to find the cheapest one, right? Give me a moment. Curtis Michael Noskie. It looks like it's the same price. So Curtis, you're you're giving up on the coin, but it's virtually it's virtually the same price as it was when you ordered it. So that means you're going to get a full refund on it. But that's very bullish for it to have not changed in price. So that's pretty good. Uh, but it looks like you had 315 to start, 315 minus 150. So you're owed 165 minus a $20 cancellation fee. You're owed $145. Let me go look you up, Curtis. Cheese alive. He was in the score. Oh, was he? <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Curtis, I can see transactions coming in already. How's it going, everyone? Happy late night stream. It is Curtis Michael Noskie. And what was it? $145? $145. 
So we should be able to take care of that with these two links. Okay, we're issuing a $110 refund. And then that means this one only needs to be 35. Beep. Wait. Hold on. We might just grab the wrong Curtis. Oh, we just grabbed the wrong Curtis. Oh my God, I gotta be more careful with this. I did this one time before actually. Oh my God. Give me a second guys. Oh, oh dear. Glad I caught it. But he got one of the refunds, so hold on. All right, so let me make sure we get the right guy. Oh, dear, man. <laughs> All right, so this is Noskie. You have to be real careful with that in the future. Curtis Noskie. Okay, so he got the $110 refund, and Michael got a smaller refund. Uh, let me mention this over here. Yes, okay, so I already told him, good. So, and then, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, we're good. I didn't actually send the refund to Michael Curtis at all. Oh, good, never mind. Hold on, let me tell, him, let me tell Michael Curtis he's fine. <laughs> okay, I was about to hit send. It had not actually gone through it, so we are good. Michael Curtis did not get the refund. Curtis Noskia did, so I've done it correctly so far. I need to send Curtis Noskia one more refund, and this time it needs to be $35. Very good. <laughs> I thought I'd accidentally refunded a guy named Michael Curtis $100 by mistake when it was meant to go to Curtis Michael Noskia. So they have almost identical looking names, but like flip. Anyways, I had not. I had sent the 110 to Curtis Noskier, and then the 35 almost went to Michael Curtis, but apparently I had stopped myself in time. Okay, so now we don't need this. Woo! <laughs> Gotta remember that, because I, I almost made the mistake. I guess I caught myself there. Now, this coin goes up for sale. That's right, I sell coins. I sell precious metals. Here it is. The MS69 2-ounce silver completer coin from 2021. It features the queen's bust on it. Damn. Beautiful. MS69 is just one point away from the top score. When it comes to coin grading, the top score is MS70. Now, if this was MS70, it would cost a whole lot more, right? Uh, the, the nice thing about this coin is how beautiful it is. It was minted in the UK, and it features all of these animals, which kind of reminded me of Pokemon. That's why I bought these. Yeah. Have you ever made that mistake before? Yeah, I made it one time, and the guy who got the uh, money incorrectly was so kind, he actually sent it back. Can you believe it? Some people out there are pretty good. Nice of them to be so fair, isn't it? Just think, if everyone was like that, society would actually be really nice to live in. It'd be a really nice society, in, in fact. So, here's the cheapest coin right now for the completer coins. $315 and $10 of shipping. Now, with eBay, you also pay taxes nowadays. I do in my state. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but I just noticed that anytime I order, there's taxes, and that wasn't always true. But it looks like the taxes are close to about 6%. So that $325 is actually closer to, you add about $20 more. So the real eBay price is about $345 for this one coin. That's the real, that's your true cost if you were to buy this now, if you were to do a buy it now on eBay. And we're going to beat that price. Here we are. I'll have this priced up. 
What's impressive about this coin is it has continuously moved up in price over time and never fallen in price. Taxes aren't new on eBay. It depends on the state. In my state, they are new. In the state of Missouri, I was never charged taxes. Now I'm seeing I get charged tax pretty much on every single transaction. So something must have changed. It might have changed in January on January 1st. I'm not sure. But I was not paying taxes when I ordered items on eBay this whole time. It's 8% here in Ohio. Oh, interesting. I did a calculation. Looks like I was paying 6%. All right, so if the if the final eBay price is about three forty five, we want to make ours three. Oops, oh, come on, is that readable? Three twenty. Ah oh, man, don't you hate it when the Sharpie marker is going dumb? It's going blunt. Where can I find valuable slab aways for sale? A uh, great question. I have a pricey slabs channel, which I'm going to be able to update more over the next month because we're gonna finish the moving process and I'm going to start working harder on my inventory. And so that is what I'm looking at doing. We are gonna get things all revved up for the tax return season. Wait, I don't need one of these for this. I need a, I can actually just do a second one of these. 6%, seven miles away from where I live, says Rob. <laughs> okay, so check this out. We're gonna double sleeve this for you. There we go. Oh, I guess the sticker's on the inside. That's fine. So this will say 320, right? Now, is this the same marker? We don't want the same marker. We want a good marker. There we go. Can I take a, make a note to look at my TCCG Electabuzz? Mr. can make a note to look at my TCCG Electabuzz. Are you asking me to go look at it? Or are you saying there's something wrong with it? Let me have a sip of my drink. Show slabs around 60 bucks. I need to spend to get my bag before a year. Do you invest in gold and silver? Uh, I have quite a bit of gold and silver at this point because I, I, I got a bunch of these Queen Beast completer coins. And then I bought some uh, silver dragon coins, which are in the process of grading. Those are going to come back. Oh, man. I sell a silver coin every now and then. It makes me a little bit of money. Whew. But I, I want to be sure that I expand to a second hobby to make sure I'm not overly reliant on one hobby. So this goes up here. <coughs> I'm dying, man. Only 50 characters in the message. Oof. We demand more characters. I'm supposed to be listening to Metroid music, but I'm not really feeling it. What about you guys? How about we turn on this sexy soundtrack? This one's pretty good. All right, just have about there. Dude, it's hot in here. I'm sweating. I'm about to take my shirt off. Look at this fan. Can this fan just blow on me or something? No. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't fall. <laughs> All right, this fan's going to fall. Give me a minute. Oh. <laughs> the fan did fall. I turned hoping that it would be good for one more second, and it was, in fact, it was not. Actually, this is working pretty good. Ooh, there we go. Turn that down a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> ah! Turn this a little bit. Well, the only problem is now I'm not going to be able to reach the Star Wars stuff. Man, this room's crowded. It's all coming down, boys. Ah, <laughs> oh, that feels so good. I got the wind blowing on my neck. Wyatt McCauley. So we left off at Wyatt last night. See, now the music's too loud. Can we turn this down? There we go. So one astral. This is from Wyatt McCauley. And he has been waiting. Here we are. One lost origin. I'm ready to have a nice night. Are you guys ready to have a nice night? One silver tempest. If I can get an adventure time, that would be awesome. Just keep the hollows. Uh, Wyatt, you gotta order. It's gotta be a twenty-five dollar order. 
if you sent another $10 order in, which you might have been the guy talking about that, I'll get you the pack, okay? The card off Electabuzz that was just graded took look damage and top left of card is pinched in the encapsulation. Ah, all right, we're gonna have to fix that. Mr. Joey, right? Joey Barton? Mr. Joe Barton, contact me in Discord about it and also contact John about it and we'll get it all figured out, okay? <clears throat> John's John's pinched a card before, and what we tend to do is we get a card that will grade even better than the one that you had. So we typically replace it, and then we get that graded too. Someone's asking if you still had Adventure Time boxes for sixty-five dollars. Yes, or you can buy one of the booster packs now for three bucks. If you wanted a Card Wars booster pack, we can leave it sealed, and you can just buy a single booster pack. For three dollars it's on the menu right now it's considered a clearance item and uh so i'm just trying to get rid of it quickly let's see the dirty room here we are our phone what is the f we want tonight mister uh i don't know i don't know it could be anything haven't decided all right he says keep the hollows mr mr wyatt man i got a cough in my throat my throat's itchy have a bag from a few months ago, he says. Okay, so a few months ago, I'm gonna be looking for it. William, William. <laughs> William. Wilbur, Wyatt McCauley, here it is. He's got a bag right here. Get that saliva graded. I can clear that throat for you. Mister, I think it looked tilted and pinched from the photo, but it's still at your house, not shipped yet. Sounds good, Joey. So if it is in fact pinched, we owe you a better Electabuzz than you started with. So the first step will be getting a hold of the card. John, Pokey John's, um, his Discord name should be John S. Pokey Stop, right? Is that right? Hold on. John S underscore pokey stop. He needs to take a look at it. I'll tell you what, I'll write you a note for you. So retrieve Joey Barton Electabuzz Cardos inspect for encapsulation damage and report back. All right, there you go. No problem, Joey. So John's going to have to take a look at that in the morning. And if we discover it is, in fact, pinched, we're going to get you all fixed up, okay? I wouldn't let I wouldn't let that uh, get by. We're going to make sure we want it to be fixed. We don't want to deliver it to you until it's all fixed. I'm full of hate, says Ran. Let's see if those pull tonight. You go, what? Ran, it's not a good idea to be full of hate. You gotta let the love flow. There we go. Let's see. Wow, that fan, the, the, the protective cover popped off the front and I feel like it's blowing such a better airflow. How you been, mister? It's been a while. How's it going, Joseph? Uh, it's been very busy for me. Isaac Schmutzer. Hey, mister, first time order, so I need a new bag. I would like one Pokey Bra and a Silver Tempest. Been watching for almost a year. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's get that Silver Tempest. Here it is. Time out ran for not loving me. Oh, Alex, that's so mean. All right, you're in time out. Alex paid me. I have to do it. So, Mr. Isaac Schmitzer, I'm sorry I couldn't get this in the daytime stream. It was like turning 7 p.m. There was a lot of demand, but here we are now. And let's see what you get in your Pokey Bra. All right, Pokey Bras have been real popular lately. Ah, uh -huh, what'd you get? Okay, you got Gloom, Ampharos Poker, Pikachu from 2014, Magmortar from 2014, a Vintage Metal Energy, and this Promo Blastoise. You know what's weird? They never really made a special card for this in the Sword and Shield era. Hmm. Fascinating. Unless I missed it. I could have missed it, but it wasn't in the main set as far as I know. There we 
we go. Let's see what we got. Joey, there's nothing wrong with that card. We'll have John investigate it. Um, John can investigate it. There we go. Isaac, obviously, it would not be acceptable if there was something wrong with it. I would not allow that to be shipped because it's in my interest to get that fixed so that it doesn't have to be out there floating in the ether with my brand name on it and the card's pinched. It just looks bad if that happens. Unmod Alex for timing me out. Did you know that's the thing now, Alex? So Alex is no longer a moderator for a whole stream or is it two streams? I can't remember. I think it's just one stream. Here we go. Isaac Schmitzer. Oh, new bag for Isaac, of course. <laughs> Alex isn't a mod. How does it feel to be one of the people, Alex? This is my pit bull, mister. He free roams the neighborhood. Oh, man. We're going to go full Karen. I swear to God. My wife was talking after the stream today, and she was saying she wanted to go for a run but didn't feel safe enough to go out there running because she's worried the dog doesn't know her, and it could be aggressive if, if it doesn't like her, or if she's, like, running, it might activate its predator instinct. So she said she found herself feeling trapped inside because she's not strong enough to fend off a large dog and uh she was really upset by that here we are he's vulnerable dang that's crazy says philip here's joshua pin two lost thunder she then asked me if i wanted to go on a walk with her and i said <laughs> no turn on that tv we got tv to watch so my big fat butt on the couch no, I wouldn't feel enough to it, actually. But we're going to go walking soon. I really like this new neighborhood. It's really nice. Except for the wandering bull of pit bulls. I don't know about that. Everything else is pretty good, though. You should see the views. The views are insane. Yeah, the views out here are so good. Dogs sense if you're scared, which makes them sketchy toward you. Yeah, I mean, people are always talking about what dogs can and can't do. I don't know how much of it, I believe. Here's Wyatt McCauley, 2 Y Star Wars. Ooh. Why Star Wars, you say? Any idea when you'll have full inventory again? Well, we're working on it as much as we can. Is there a particular product that's not on the menu and you want it to be on the menu? To Why Star Wars. And here's that adventure time. Oh, also, Mr. Sh... Wow, you can barely hear that. Um, hold on, let me try playing that again. It's like turned down. So Austin tipped a dollar four. It's a fantastic Bulbasaur. If it comes back at ten, based on your estimate, it has ten thousand, twenty thousand plus, maybe thirty. That's just really quiet. You can barely hear that. I don't like that. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that or something. All right, let me turn the music back on. Thank you, Austin. So Isaac Schmitzer needs one of these. Here you go, Isaac. I remember you were part of the daytime stream, so you definitely deserve one of those. And then we got one for Austin as well. Have your wife carry a katana. Bluetooth speaker. Two words. Two, how does it go? Two, oh my God. No, it does sound quieter though, doesn't it? Let me see something. Where's the mixer? Why does it seem quieter? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. That was the uh, Hente Moan played by Austin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Onisan, Mr. Wyatt. Let's get these open. How's it going, everybody? Wow, we're up to a whopping 140 viewers. How many times do you think we're going to lag out tonight? Can you tilt the fan away? Oh, I see. Is that better? Those moans need to be loud enough to creep out the neighbors. Ah, I like this. Oh, you got Yoda, huh? Don't disrespect me like that again. <laughs> There's Yoda. Oh, man, he says red. Way better. Thanks, says Joey Barton. Here's... Oh. This is not a flattering picture. 
I don't know. He just had a bad artist there. I feel like the artist owed him to do a better job. <laughs> I would not want that artist to work on my image. That's a holographic Chewy. There we go. Sweet. Cool. Why it wasn't here, was he not? Blech. Okay, here's why. It looks like a full art. Is this Sonic? The artist was Japanese. There we go. What does that mean? Boy, this W box is full, man. Full, I say. Okay, now we have Kano Zone shipping. I have slabs, old bags. Ooh, okay. Slabs and old bags. Kano Zone. Lance Weiss. Estuardio. Mr. Kano. Oh, oh dear. Oh, wow, dude. That's a lot of stuff. Excuse me. Wow, so basically this overflow box is got all its room back now. And let's go make you a label. Um, we're gonna have to log in to look you up, okay, Kano Zoom. So we're logging in. I can't imagine being a voice actress and having to moan into the mic and having people tell you to redo that. Oh you son! How's that? Did I do good? Or do you want me to redo it? My, the black guy in Star Wars was not on Asian posters for advertising. That's why he said the artist was Japanese. Mister, what's up with politics? Is anything up with politics? Is it all boring? Somebody tell me something interesting that's going on with politics. Because I haven't heard anything interesting. So here's Kano Zone. Here we are. Rezo. What? Who can tell me something interesting in politics today? I don't think there's anything interesting going on, to be honest. It's a boring time for politics. Okay, this is probably going to be, based on the size of this, that's going to be a priority box. Actually... I can't remember how many slabs he had. I'm just giving you an expensive one, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The end is nigh. Come on now. There we go. Zelensky won't let any practice Christianity in unapproved ways. Homie keeping all those hollows. Send a commercial on Vice about Tate. A commercial? Did you say I'm keeping the hollows or he's keeping the hollows? Did he say keep the hollows? He didn't say that. You disrespect me. You disrespect my family. You call us thinking poopy babies. The end is near, says Pokey Sly. Probably not. Okay. Mister, the queen is dead. You can't have her coins. You can't sell a picture of her likeness. Pirates enjoy her. Sub list spot. Okay. Here we are. Pirates Enjoyer. Here we are. Do I know what happens if a solar flare hits the earth? Um, we all smooch and dance. And it's all kumbaya. Here we go. Joey Barton, one live custom. What's up, Joey Barton? Here goes. Ah, no luck. Okay. That's no luck on the live custom. But he also says one slime pack. This could be a hot slime pack. Took the took my booby. EMP destroys electronic devices. One Evo Sky. Well then how would I get you Pokemon cards? A dollar for giveaway. Are you going to set your other house up for Airbnb vacation? That's the goal. Now, 
I would probably be hap just as happy to rent it to you guys in a direct purchase rather than through Airbnb, which will no doubt take a cut. There you go. But also, we should have a live custom booster type, or not a live custom booster, but any booster type, where you can have a chance at getting a vacation in the lake house. Be like a vacation booster pack. There we go. But I don't know. It's I'm still thinking about whether that's such a great idea. What do you guys think? Bad idea, good idea? I mean, if you guys really wanted to go, it would be easy enough for you to actually just decide to, I don't know, like purchase a rental space like a week. It seems almost like if we created a vacation boosters or something like that, um, somebody who may not even want it may end up pulling it or something. You know what I mean? Would only be good for the ones closer, though. Yeah, that's a fair point, Jeremy. Everyone might not be interested in coming out to Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Then again, if you only travel to places right next to you, I feel like that's a little boring, isn't it? Only if we could be a guest star on the stream. That probably would not be a thing. Shuffling? What happened, lol? I'm crying. Did I shuffle? Hey, mister, just sent some ETH for Pokebra. It's my first order, so I need a bag. R-N-G-R -R is fine for the bag name. Joey Barton, let me find your bag. Joey, the, uh, the live customs are untouched from the daytime stream. I haven't added any new um, booster. I haven't added any new prizes in, any new boosters. So it was shuffled from the end of the uh, daytime stream. But will that be a high price for the Lake House booster pack? Will be a few hundred dollars. I quit smoking a few years ago. Very good. You did shuffle, says David Filler Doe. About if chat buys one pack each every one pack battle winner of best card market price wins all hits. What? Here we go. There we go. That's the Joey Barton bag. Uh, when I refill the custom booster packs with new boosters, uh, sometimes what I like to do is before anyone's allowed to open any of them, I cut the deck in order to shuffle it, but... They, they were untouched from the daytime stream. What is that Charmander in CGC Grade 8? I think the card is a sticker. Yeah, it's cool, right? This is from Tops, and it's a, Char a Charmander sticker card, also known as a puzzle card. And uh, it's $45 for an 8, which I think is a very neat card to uh, enjoy. Is there a boat at the lake house? There is. I don't know what the laws are on letting you use my boat, because there might be liability laws. I do have a boat there just sitting in the dock. So if you're allowed to use it, you might like that a lot. But then again, I don't know. Are you experienced in using a boat? Like I've driven it a couple times. Uh, I definitely would not want someone unexperienced driving it. You wouldn't even be able to park it. It's too difficult to park it. Okay, let's see what's next. Charles Brucker, Spot in the Lost Thunder. You got it. Yeah, if you were not experienced with boat driving, you would not want to drive it because you would find yourself unable to park it without, probably without tearing things up. I just got some MTG mystery box at Walmart for Yu-Gi-Oh. We are? So that's Charles Brucker. Did you refund the slab away I have? And if so, how much credit did I get? And am I to walk through Suicune's Chinese done grading yet? So, okay, so you got a lot of questions, Charles. Let's take a look in the TCCG returns channel. So if you didn't know this, you can actually look up your returns right here. TCCG returns. So you click on that. This will take you to all of the finished cards, the cards John finished encapsulating. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the search function to find you. Control F, Charles. Uh, all right here we have Charles Brucker. That was finished on 1-4. You got a 10 on that, Suicune. Is this also yours? And you got a 9.5 on this one. So you got a 10 and a 9.5. Very good, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me again. I got like a scratch in my throat right now. You can't stop a pawn to abruptly might the front. I know you made me a card, man. I'm not mad at you anymore. Okay, love you. What? <laughs> man, I think the heat's up too high in this room. What the hell? Give me a second. I'm going to go turn my thermostat down. I'm hot in here. I'm hot.
There we go. I heard the fans kicked off. And now, what was the rest of his order? He was talking about, did you refund my slab away? So Charles, you can look that up in the Discord as well. You go to the slab away channel and search for Charles. Looks like you don't have a listing in here, Charles. So I'm pretty sure that's a clear sign that it was uh, refunded. And I don't remember how much you got back though, but you were definitely refunded. If you're curious about refunds, I would go off to your PayPal account and go look into it there. Okay, we have Brian Caesar next. English Pokemon book box. Oh, we're out of those. Yeah, Brian, we're out of those. Um, not only are we out of those, there's like a line to purchase them. Um, I'm gonna accept this order, I think. No, I'm refunding it. I'm sorry, man. We're out of those. It needs to be removed from the menu or the price needs to be updated. That was an old Christmas price. And and uh, who was it that came in and wiped them all out? Somebody came in and wiped them all out. So I apologize, but we're 100% out of them. And there is a waiting line to get more of them. So in other words, there's someone waiting for me to make a bunch more of those. It's not in his old house, says Alex. Okay, so that's done, and I think what we would do, let's see where the bulk is. Custom booster, random single bulk boxes, no more Christmas prices. This is going to change to uh, probably $55. We'll leave the other TCG alone, because apparently we've got plenty of that, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying over here. Any more giveaways? Oh, yeah. Derek Ortega says, Hello, mister. A late congrats on your house. A big smoochie for me. All I need is an order of semi-rigids. Derek Ortega. You got it, Derek Ortega? Here we are. I've thought about selling the, uh, the used card graders. Yeah, I've thought about selling those at a better price. Because we write on them, and then, you know, they got writing on them at that point. Okay, let me write a note for John. One pack of card graders. Mister, check that Discord. What's going on, ball player? There we go. Yay! Let's see what's next. Tony Stanton, two spots in the Lost Thunder. Tony. <laughs> so you had spot 16. Tony Stanton. Putting all three of your spots together here. So you're going to take 23, 24, 25, and 16 goes back down here. Make it a little more organized. You didn't have any others, did you? No. Okay, cool. Mr. John, put me in the booby pack break, says John. Okay, John. Do you collect Morgan dollars? I have a few of them. I will buy your empty land 3% over market value. Mr., has all the shipping from prior to the move break been done? Just wondering. Uh, I believe it has. Um, yeah, I believe it has. Do they have to be in a row? What if someone wanted to spread it out? I prefer for them to be in a row. Like, I strongly prefer that. J.S. Pokey Stop. Okay. John's in. So that means there's one, two, three, four, five spots left on the booby break. It's halfway full. I love you, man. We are all a good group of people. We don't mind winding up on one or the other. What? What are you saying? Lance Wise. Pre-order for the stream. One Pokey bra. Okay, one pokey bra. Oh, oh, that's that aluminium. <laughs> All right, you got aluminium. One Pixar pack. Where's that Pixar pack? Here it is. Being hidden by the Star Wars pack. One poker card. 
Okay, so your poker card this time, it's Whalmer. Let's get you one more. So, Whalmer and Amoongus. Shuffle, Mr. Shuffle. Uh, I don't have to ever shuffle the Pokey Bros. That's an option. I shuffle the live customs. I don't have to shuffle the Pokey Bros. I got a bag and paid for shipping since my bag's getting large. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> Love the Luminion card. It is pretty nice, isn't it? Freshly pulled. It has not been tested for grading, meaning it could potentially be a, a 10 or a pristine 10. Can you crack open a box of Paradigm Trigger for no reason? Um, I could. Here we are. Here's Cars. And Woody. There we go. Wow, that guy looks like he's about to steal your girlfriend. Okay, Lance Weiss. Thank you very much. Let's find your bag. Lance did have a large bag. Why are they trying to make Luminion a likable Pokemon? Two Altards. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, actually. It's it, it's not kind of annoying. It's, like, super annoying. Like, how many good Blastoise cards did we get in Sword and Shield? Any of them? None of them? How about Venusaur? But we got Luminion twice. It's like... Yeah, it's like a fish, dude. <laughs> it's cool, I guess. I'll have Mr. So whenever I disagree, I have to calm him out or say my opinion. Uh, he's got a Woody. You got my back, bestie. Woody can poison my water hole. Uh, poison? What? All right, let's wipe. Mm -hmm. That's pretty heavy. Yeah, that definitely feels like it's just over a pound. We get you the priority mail. Okay, uh, we never saved your email, so you're not getting a tracking, but it is on its way. How about Swampert? Not enough Swampert. I'm glad that smaller cards are getting alt hearts. I get tired of seeing the same Pokemon. Always down for new Gengar alts, though. Yeah, it, that's fine, but but Luminion got two alt hearts, so if you really feel that way. Uh, they should have done one for Luminion and another for a different Pokemon that gets ignored a lot. You know what I mean? Like, didn't uh, they get the rights back to Kadabra? Why didn't they make a Kadabra? Altar Kadabra? That'd be amazing. Tony Stanton, spot in the Lost Thunder. So Tony's taking a fourth spot. Here you go, Tony. I'm liking this, Tony. 23, 24, 25, 26. Bulk and Cheap says, Sun and Moon, Lost Thunder, Break. Bulk and Cheap. Bulk and Cheap. Not enough badoofs. Yeah, I know, right? San San A, one sneaker bunko. Sneaker bunko. Let's see. This looks like sneaker bunko. And two Silver Tempest. I have a bag. Here we are. How long is the line tonight? Very short. So short. Steve. My answer to that question is always that it's short. There's no point in asking. There you go. All right. Mr. Sansan. I'm never going to tell you, oh, go away. Don't, don't place an order. I don't want it. I'm always going to tell you place your order. So unless we're about to wrap up. Which is a different kind of question, like, are we about to wrap up? If I say, yeah, no more orders. See, that's a different situation. So short that I put an order in. Agumon didn't get any cards on Sword and Shield either. Oh, snap, that's a booby card. And, all right, cool. Mr. Who would you like to see take over from Ash and Pikachu? Um, two other characters. Probably a girl. Because Ash has been a main character boy all these time, all these years. And so the developers, are, the writers are going to want to put a girl in this place, is my suspicion. Ash's mom. <laughs> All hot pulls in those three packs. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so, so thirsty. There we go. Sansan. Mr. Sansan, please answer my last question, says Beefy. What do you say? How long does it take to grade? Have 10 to submit it about two weeks ago. Still isn't on the Discord. Well, it depends. Um, you know, we just moved, right? We just spent the entire last week moving. It was really, really difficult. So this could cause a delay in the card grading. 
because moving takes so much effort and time, uh, John's been helping me set everything back up. I mean, we're moving a whole business over. It's not a small business these days. Um, so the last week was focused on that. If you ordered bulk grading, I think that the description says bulk grading can take up to two months, but I don't think it'll take two months. I think you'll have your grading like, like in two days, honestly. It's just about us getting back to work. That's what it is. We got to be back to work. Okay, here we are. Ace Arola. Areola. Patrick Grieve, one sneaker bunko. Here we are. One adventure time. Please keep BMO. Okay. Keep BMO to myself. He says, okay, so how long? Beefy, there's no set date for it, okay, man? That's not how grading works. The, the grading just happens the day that it happens. There's a time frame, but there's no actual, like, there's no, like, set day you can expect it on. That's generally how all shipping with all, shi or not shipping. That's how all grading with all grading companies work. None of them set an actual finish date. It's just done when it's actually done. And what they do is they typically, they give you a time frame that's based on your payment. So you could do, like, an express grade, and the grading company might say, that'll take us a month. My express grading takes only a week, it claims, seven days. So you could get it done in seven days with me, uh, like 95% of the time. And then there's like bulk grading. Well, bulk grading is going to be the cheapest, but I get up to two months on that one because we always focus on the express grades first. So that's kind of how it works. But there's no set date. Um, there's just a time frame. Does that make sense? Here we are. All right, Patrick Grieve. How much you mod? How much to make you mod again? Says Coeli. Uh, you can make anyone a moderator for ten bucks. What happened, to Alex? Alex got demoted for fifteen dollars. That's the thing now. Did you know that? Was answer Joe Mister? Uh, okay, Mister. The person who sent for bulk box is asking if he resends. Can you do it? I sure can. Yes. Everyone, the new Final Fantasy set, Resurgence of Power, is full of serious hits and waifu cars. It's the next Opus 11. Hype, hype, hype. <laughs> uh, there does seem to be some desire for it. Uh, technically, this is a Gunter card, I guess. Here we are. It's a very ugly Gunter card. Oh, you got Princess Bubblegum. All right, there you are. Oh, you were answering Joe, not trying to be a nuisance. I'm sorry. Maybe I misunderstood. Justice for Alex. Okay, and now we've got... Rand demoted him, by the way. How could you, Rand? Holographic, taking it from behind, girl. Like, what's going on here? Is that like her boob? Like, it almost seems like her boob's moving forward or something. Like they've depicted motion. That seems really inappropriate. There we go. Mr. Pay me to hype your best products, says Pokedan. You got it, Dan. Bing, 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 bing. How many Monopoly dollars can I get for you? 20, 30? Okay, Patrick Grieve. There we go. Power thrust. Looking like a power thrust. That's right. Now we have Darren Thompson, two Pixars. Ooh, two Pixars, oh my. So, two Pixars. Oh, here we are. I did 15 bulk grades on 1228, and they were done on four. Your card is going to be finished soon. It can take longer. It can take longer as a lot of people are having cards graded. If Alex pays 15 bucks, can he get his mod back, or would it be 10 for a day? It would cost $10, and I would just give the mod back, to be honest, because there's no need for me to take it away from him. Think about it. When you buy mod for $10, you get to be mod for a day, right? Well, when you take mod away from a moderator, they get it back after a day. So it's, you would just reinstate your mod early is all you would be doing. Okay. Great questions, everybody. Okay, Joe, but I have 10 cards, not one. I think I saw some cards for you, Mr. BFK. Last time I was working on them. Did you actually check the uh, returns channel to see if he had posted any returns? Okay. Place that there. 
two Pixar, two Silver Tempest. I have every day. Alex demoted, not here. You know, I think I handed grades out to your cards. So your cards are probably extremely close to being done. All right, what we got? Can I give you 3,600 for a year, mister? For a year as a moderator? <laughs> um, for a whole year? <laughs> I, in theory, I guess you could do that. I mean, it just doesn't seem like it's worth it, man. I want to get them headed back home so I can buy more cards. I wasn't mod before, says Alex. No, Alex mod is like anarchy. Oh, no, Alex mod. <laughs> Modless a Alex is a better way to say that. There we go. There's Hollow Sullivan. Oh, you got the holographic lamp. I think that's cool. This makes me think pink elephants on parade. And here's the ants and the, the family. Okay. Beefy out here acting like Mr. Didn't just move his whole house in three days. Dude, you got no idea how much it was. It was It's a crazy amount of stuff that we moved. I, I'm exhausted. John's exhausted. The movers were exhausted. They're like, wow, this is tedious. Well, get those pit bulls out of here. No free roaming pit bulls in my neighborhood. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> I'm going full Karen. What pulls are you looking for on Pixar? Uh, apparently, there's a stamped lamp card, and I guess that goes for a bunch of money. Okay, that's for Darren Thompson. So that's how you know everyone wants it, because it's, it costs a bunch of money. So when people get mad about talking in Pokemon card terms based by money, it's like, well, money is the measure of how badly everyone wants it. <laughs> what do you, how do you think a, a hobby works? A collecting hobby in particular. Okay. Darren is all done. David filler Doe, pre-grade all my cards. I want to send some off for grading from CGC. Sent extra to me having a few bags. So you sent me $10 to do three bags. David, I'm going to limit it to, to uh, I can't do, I can't do a full pre-grade on three bags of cards. It's just not set up for that. Uh, we've had this issue before. So we're going to do these two bags. This third bag, if you'd like me to do a pre-grade on it, I'm going to ask you to pay another round of pre-grade because this is the equivalent of two jobs, okay? It was almost three jobs. but So since there's such a huge amount, it's got to be two pre-grades. I hope you understand that. It's just that there is a line, and I don't want everyone waiting for 20 minutes. Um, so let's get started. Let's not talk too long. Here we go. Get those hollows out of the way. So we got Cleffa. We want to stick to cards that we think are actually... Significant cards here. I actually like the, the uh, Entei, by the way. He's a bit of an older card. That's nice. Grookey. No, Grookey's not nice. Bird Keeper, no. Natu's looking well-centered. Zatu, looking well-centered. Jirachi. Close. Thin on the bottom. I like Greninja. Slugu's nice. This Moltres is cool, man. Oh, there we go. That's a hit. That Mew. The Mew's so nice. It's actually a little thin on the left, that one. We'll take a look at that one. Ooh, you got these. Um, these are like Platinum Era, but they're a little scratchy. Vanilla, this Mew. Uh, this Squirtle. Oh, wow. This looks really nice. We'll take a closer look at those. Those are often off center. I'm, I'm uh, surprised those look so good. Here's a Charizard, a very common card. That's a holographic Vader. I like this a lot, by the way. I think it's a great artwork. Actually, any any uh, card with holographic Vader in is pretty neat. And they grade 10 very often. There's Boba Fett. There's the Emperor. Oh, you got to grade that one. That's a hit, actually. Yeah, that one's got to get graded. Fat Pikachu's got to get graded. This got to be graded. You could grade this one. So you got a lot in here is what's evident to me. Stunfisk, Ratata First Edition. I wouldn't bother with that. Some vintage energy, some old commons from 2014, a 2014 Slagoo. Might want to look into that. These are all from 2014. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, and a Snorlax. So this bag contained a lot of stuff that you can potentially grade for sure. There you go. Let's take a closer look at these items now, Mr. David Filler Doe. It's not bad. Assuming there's nothing wrong with it. That one looks nice. Slagoo. Slagoo's got white dot. 
Hoopa! Yeah, there's like two cards. There's a card behind the Hoopa. When is this from? 2015? So this is Ancient Origins is what it is. Okay, that's an Ancient Origins Hoopa. Eve Snorlax, $100 as a 10. I know, he's way off center. So he's no good. I don't have time to uh, grade every one of these. You can take a shot on this if you want, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you got to grade this, man. These Weiss cards grade 10 so easily. It's really rare for them not to get 10. We are. These are all great. They're cheap. They're beautiful. But that one especially is a hit. Something wrong with these? Ah, white dots on the back. How about this one? Yep. So these got white dots. Now, you could grade these with PSA. Just keep them sealed and grade them in the sealed um, holder, okay? Because that's the thing you can do. Squirrel looks nice. Looks like there might be a vertical line here. Oh, that's a worn out Mickey. Uh, oh. Oh, ooh, ooh. Got some kind of nick down here. That's sad. It's a brand new card set and all, but... Can you kind of see it? There it is. Yeah, weird. Uh, if I examine it closer, maybe it's not so bad, but uh, I mean, yeah, I would give it a try anyways. Something weird with that corner. But so here's a white dot up here on this Satu. Does moisture in a card go toward a grade? Yes, yes, it does. So don't get your cards wet. Nope, don't grade that. I've gotten way too good at that. Very smooth. It's one of those ridiculous tight Japanese sleeves. By the way, he got this right out of the Pokey Bros. Uh, so this card will be probably not grading 10 because it has a dot right there. Do you see the dot? Also looks like there was some kind of hairline scratch. All right. So that'll, that'll stop it from getting 10. That'll turn that one into a 9.5 most likely. Unless it has any other major flaw. Uh, honestly, a 9.5 on that card, probably still worth it. All right? All right. Wow, man. So good. And Ente. Yeah. I wouldn't mess around with the one. He's not valuable enough. All right. So that was your first bag, though. You've got another bag. He had three bags. I was, he was going to have me do this for three bags. You guys would be sitting here all day. <laughs> Okay, toss this to the side. Now the second bag, I can tell that's all bulk stuff. Take a quick look at these. <laughs> this is actually off center. How about this one, is this off center? Yeah, this one's a little off center. It's a bit thin on the left and the right. If it turns into a 10 though, it's still worth it. If the off centering isn't bad enough, that's just a Gudra. I don't think anyone gets excited for Gudra. Sorry, Gudra. Um, there's one of those Gengars. He's being graded to death. Uh, you could just grade him if you like him, though. You got the pretty girl? I would grade her, definitely. These Japanese cards are usually grade 10. Occasionally they don't, but they grade 10 more often than they don't. So he's a bit thinner on the top, but it's not by much. There's a Gaifu reverse Pikachu. Very cute. Hyper Rare Zoroark. Oh, the Beedrill. Nice. Beedrill pulls fun. This Pikachu is also a bit thinner on the left. Uh, oh, that is Transparent Yoda. Oh, these are the real expensive Star Wars cards. I would consider grading all of those, man. Yeah, those are the expensive Star Wars cards. Every single one of those should be considered for grading. So, those are all in there. This looks fine. You could probably grade that Suicune as well. There's the Argentina logo. I'd consider that. Centering looks okay. Spain, Netherlands, Mexico, Ghana. Leandro Paredes, Argentina. Yeah, I'd probably consider grading this too, man. 
So you got two sport cards you might grade in this bag. Mister, whose bag is this? Uh, this bag belongs to David Fillardo. I think it was pre-orders and orders from Daytime Stream. There we go. Mister, I got married two days ago. Did you actually? Mister, you're Anthony, right? Big hits. All right. So that's David Fillardo. Now, David, you've got a third bag. If you'd like me to review it, I got to ask for another round of pre-grades because that's a long round of pre-grades here. We're like holding up the whole stream. I can see the orders coming in. Yeah, these look pretty good, though. I'd grade all those. No cap. A49. Nice, man. So now that you're a married man, do you feel more successful in life? There you go. Are you going to start saying, my wife, like I say? I say it all the time. I'll send for it right now. Ooh, sounds good. So you mean you're going to send for the pre-grade? Is that what you mean by send for it right now? That's what he means for sure. Okay, David Fulardeau, let's get the rest of that pre-grade. Sorry, guys. We're almost done. Bulbasaur, uh, look at that. Charmander, Ditto, Eevee, Mew. So these are a card example of a low-cost card that have a chance per perhaps for a high-value flip. Um, don't underestimate these just because they appear to be affordable when they if they grade 10 somebody might actually pay a nice chunk of money for them Because they're like those are cool and they don't take the time to grade them themselves These are uh, no rarity see the no rarity But you know it would not be called no rarity on the grade. It would be a title appropriately That's got white dot so I'm gonna guess these are like near mint. Um, I don't know if I do these Oh, that's nice. I would consider this because that's like a new artwork for that card set. I like this Raikou too, honestly. And the Charizard's nice. Kobo from Opus 1. Don't un underestimate cloud cards. They do sell. Melodic is nice. This one is well-centered, actually. Typhlosion. The Porygon and Lapras, I'd consider those old vintage cards. This is a uh, Crystal Guardian or something, right? Old Maid, Wigglytuff from Yellow Deck. The Wigglytuff's a little worn. There's a Charizard. Ooh, Night of Queen, Togetic. Tentacruel. So these are a little bit worn. I don't know if I'd I don't know if I'd work on those right away. Mm -hmm. It looks like you open a lot of Pokey Bros. Here's a Dragonite. He's kinda cool. Mm -hmm. Him on top. So it's a pack fresh him on top. It's a little ditto numal. Okay, this bot this bag didn't have quite as much in it. Oh yeah, that looks really clean. So this will have a shot at a nine. Yeah, you might get a nine on that. Definitely great Dragonite, says Pokey Dan. No, this will not get a ten. A lot of people are probably going to grade these and get low grades on them. No. No. Nope. That's not bad. This probably isn't bad. These Final Fantasy cards are great. Oh, that's just the sleeve. Maybe. Turn to this. All right. So we're just adding a few cards here. Place this to the side. Let's grab the rest of this bag now. Why wow, are some amazing cards in this bag? He's got some nice ones. Yeah, you got a lot of these nice Star Wars cards. Oh, you got an Arceus. Do -do -do -do. I'm grateful Mr. didn't take a week off after moving. I don't know how you're doing it right now. <laughs> Yeah, well, I never take off days, do I? Probably die of a heart attack when I'm young, right? That's what the doctor said. Okay, you got more of these cool Star Wars hollows. The Boba Fett and the Emperor just look so good. I don't know what to tell you. Awesome. Oh, I bet you got these out of a Pokey Bra. So these might actually grade 10, these Tops cards. They're going to be red logo, aren't they? Yep, red logo. So these red logo cards come, came out of like perfectly non-sticky packs. That makes them more valuable. 
Okay, you got more of these rare Star Wars Galaxy uh, booster pack cards. And I'm going to set those to the side because I would seriously probably consider grading all of those. We'll toss these in as well, your vintage cards. Uh, vintage cards, you know, I feel like there's less risk and more money in vintage. Oh, my God. Look at this, guys. Dude, that's cool, man. We need to get more of those up on the menu. Okay, you got this neat card, too. Oh, dear, man. You got some great-looking cards. Oh, man. Yeah, just great all these Star Wars cards. I guarantee you some of those will sell very easy. Oops. Especially if they grade 10, right? Which I can't guarantee that without carefully examining every one of them. All right, so you have like a chunk of lesser cards that are very cheap, but when you're done grading them, might flip into a much more expensive card, especially if the grade goes well. Like this Kadabra, if it grades 10, might go from being a little $5 card to being a $40 card. That's a surprisingly good flip if you're looking at margins and stuff like that, right? Looks like your Pokebras are fire to buy. I'll sure be getting them when I'm not poor. I see things seem to look better for been in a few meetings about jobs and flats to live. Heck yeah, man. It's all about work, actually. A good job, well, let's not call it a good job. Any job can change, it can radically change your life. Uh, working really hard always has a strong effect on your life in the long run. So I recommend being employed. <laughs> it's hard to be employed, though. It's very stressful. Humans, um, it's hard for us to endure a lot of stress. We break, you know what I mean? We break, we give up. That's why people do things like climb Mount Everest to run marathons to prove that they're stronger than stress. They're stronger than the world, you know? And work, work does that. It, it demands that sort of like patience, commitment, perseverance. Hard to have that, it really is. It, it, it literally separates you from the rich and the poor. The ability to persevere and do something that's boring for a long time. That'll separate you from, from people who are not wealthy. All right, David filler Doe, you got a hits bag now. Mister, how many spots are left on the plasma pack break? It's been one spot for a while, so you might have missed it already. You get paid too much, fired. I work so I'm not poor, says Alex. Is that a hits bag? It is. David filler Doe, that's a fourth bag now, and it's a bag that's marked hits. So anytime you want, I can just look back through the bag for you. Kurt Irig, I'll have one spot in the black and white pack break and the rest toward my slab away. You got it, Kurt Irig. Mr. Kurt. So, everyone, that finishes the pack break. Um, we could do another one now. Rest toward my slab away would be $100. I just want to have a little money coming in, but not just for sitting around. I want to work for my money, and that's thanks to you and everyone in chat to make me pull myself together and get life. Nice, man. I'm glad to hear that you feel that way. I feel like that's so essential to life. There's like the version of life where you're just kind of floating through and other people are kind of paying for you to exist. And you might avoid working if you do life that way, but you'll never feel good about yourself. It's just a fact. You'll never feel good about yourself that way. You're going to feel better when you feel like you're contributing and expressing like a higher version of yourself. You know what I mean? So you got to be accomplishing things in life. I really believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, and when you accomplish a lot of things, the nice part is you get confident and then you get girlfriends. Girlfriends are very attracted to guys who seem to be passionate about something and very energetic. Girls are not attracted to guys who are low energy and just kind of confused. Girls do not like confused guys. Oops. In my opinion. Girl, you know, that's, that's a very blanket statement. So there's exceptions to everything, but... Here we are. All right, Plasma Blast. I'm ready. Ooh, I don't like hairy girls. You know, I kind of agree. I'm into the whole not being so hairy. I think guys are hairy, you know what I mean? But those are just my preconceived sexist beliefs about gender conformity. Mister, I'm here to give you your nightly ponies. Yeah, I love nightly ponies. Thanks, man. I hairy ladies. There we go. All right, perfect. I love hairy ladies. Are you running a medium custom? Crown Zenith, $10 right now. Uh, no. Is it still on the menu? 
Nobody was buying in, so I stopped running it, actually. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Nothing wrong with Bush, says Alex. I, I don't know if I agree, Alex. There we go. Is, is only one per person, as it was 25 people would set an order after order. There we go. All right, give me a number, any number. <laughs> Get the popo -po out. Zero. Jason, the science says zero. You got it, Jason. Okay, here goes. Sergio, L12. Congrats, Sergio. He's got Archon. This is black and white, so these are pretty dang old. It says right here, 2013. Wow. These are from 2013. That's 10 years ago. This is a 10-year-old booster pack. Ooh, this Relicanth with the blue border. Very neat. Sergio. Silly Sergio. Tricks are for kids. Sergio, even though the Relicanth isn't a holographic card, I would still grade it because it's got this interesting blue border thing going on. Really, all you need is for the card to sell for more than the cost that you bought it for or to break even. And then it is worth it. Here's Kurt Irig. Mr. Kurt, good luck. Let's see what Kurt Irig gets. Caracosta Rare. Okay, Caracosta Rare. Remoraid. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. And Axew. Okay, that's for Kurt Irig. Kenneth, Kyle, Kevin. Kevin, Kurt Eirik, Bush is primal. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. I don't know. Not sure if that's true. How has the move been? First pack, non-hollow. Oh my gosh, next is hollow? Maybe. Let's see, what's this? Brett Fairney, Brett Fairney. One, here's Bagon. Here's Drifloon. Everyone has trimmed bush. Everyone has preferences. Sock. There we go. Trimmed just seems so, I don't know, like cleaner or something. Everything seems cleaner and healthier. Brandon, Brett. And like you're trying harder or something. Kind of like, you know, all the rich guys, they all shave their beards. It's like they're trying harder in life or something. You know what I mean? Here we go. It means like you take time to groom yourself. There's something there's something uh, intelligent about that or attractive. I'm not sure how to describe it. Here's Jason McHenry. I trimmed from the homies. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Remoraid was one of Morimoto's best illustrations. What? It's a fish, dude. And finally, Pokemon Catcher. That's a rough round for Jason McHenry. Uh, where did we last see Jason? Was he up here? Wow, I'm feeling like the stream's very similar to how it used to be before we moved. That's a nice feeling. I like when the bush is so big, I can something in, in Fortnite. No Wookie bush for me. <laughs> okay, Kevin O'Neill. Oh, Kevin. I think you're going to get a good round, Kevin. Oh, look at that Shatat. See, it's got that special blue border. Even though it's not hollow, I'd grade it, man. Definitely. One, two. Oh, he got two of them. That's a rare, rare Selgor. And three. Oh, wow. So you can get these shield cards as reverse hollows. If this graded 10, that would probably go for a lot of money, Kevin. Kevin O'Neill. Kevin O'Neill. I got two bags for Kevin O'Neill. How nice is that? Okay, Kevin. Oops. Kevin, let's get all your cards. Wait, I, hold on. I think... Oh, they're both marked 123. Super hot round. I'm bricked up. There we go. Look. So that means you can get a holographic Excavalier in this set. That's cool. More stinky Funko. 
free floss. Am I right? Ugh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. No way. Okay, now, Paul Newman. Mr. Paul picks up throw. I do not like throw. More like throw up. King is gone. And Drifloon. So that was for Paul Newman. Mm. But the Paul Newman bag's right here. Mm. Looks like Paul Newman's bag could use an update. It says 1022 on it. We're going to say 123 now. Boxes are so full. All right, what else? Paul Newman again. I shouldn't have put that away, huh? Aaron. Surskit. Stay. The Paul Newman. <laughs> That's right. And Silver Bangle. Um, okay. If you say so. There we go. Very nice. Who's this? Joseph Juarez. Oh, Joseph. Oh, my. We've got Do Ocean. Hmm. Ursa Ring. Look at that Ursa Ring. Oh, I see Kyle sent Azel. And Suicune Rare. Wow, three light packs, everybody. So that's Joseph Juarez, Mr. Joseph. So the next round of Plasma Break is gonna be a little pricier at $34 a spot because I have not, I have not seen any huge hits come out. There we go, Joseph Juarez, place this over here. Yes, mister? Here's Sergio L12. Sergio's got electric. He's way off center. That sucks. That's a nice sweet one. Oh, man. Everything's sliding. I'm so tired of it sliding. Dude. <laughs> it's getting, like, annoyed. Golet. And Machop. How nice. Everything you ever wanted, Sergio. Okay, cool. Doot. Mm hmm. Boop. Jason McHenry picks up Dragon, Tynamo, and Shelmet. Okay, Mr. Jason. There we go. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. How nice! Wow, Plasma Blast is very cool to open. I just can't wait to actually see some crazy hits come out of it. All right, let me go grab it. Plasma Break. So, where is Plasma Break? I know we've got more of it somewhere. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Give me a moment. I'm back. Here they are, plasma breaks. Plasma breaks. Set that down. And let's see who's next. Colin Barnes, I got shipped, but I think you may have kept a bag of mine and a card in the high value box. Could you check, says Colin. Okay, Colin. Mm. Ah, oh wait, who are you? Wait, I'm sorry, I thought that I was going to agree with you and we were gonna run into your card. No, I'm not seeing anything, Colin Barnes, who are you? 
Let me go check and see if uh, you have a bag, though. Nothing like opening cold one with the boys. Yeah, so Colin Barnes, you got a bag right here. Look at this, Colin. Colin, how did you order the shipping? Was it shipping for like a slab or did you say ship all my stuff? Shelter. Finizor. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's why you thought that you had one in that box because you had one in a sleeve. Mr. Colin. There we go. I'm going to guess you ordered a round of shipping, but didn't make it clear we were shipping your bag out. I must have thought, I don't know, that we were shipping out a particular slab. Is that what happened? Here's Octavio, five fighters. You got it, Mr. Octavio. Octavio? Octavio. Did you find My Little Pony? My Little Pony has been located. Did I not update the uh, menu for the My Little Ponies? My Little Pony. My Little Pony. Yep, My Little Pony is back on the menu. Good to go. I knew it was essential that we went back and gathered all of the My Little Ponies. This stream would not be complete. You sent one bag, but not the other. Is that right? Colin, don't send me any more money. Don't send me money for shipping. If that's what happened, then what needs to happen is I need to get you free shipping, okay, Colin? So don't send me any more money, and I'll get you a label printed, and we'll get your card on your way, okay? You got Beerus. My subgrades are two nines, two 9.5s. Think it'll regrade 10? Probably not. Anytime you see those nine subgrades, pretty good sign it's not going to regrade into a 10. Here's Sun Goku. And a tournament. Now, that's one of the problems with having the subgrades because everyone you sell it to is going to know the same thing you know. Almost better for you if nobody knows. And Android. You see, the reason a 9.5 might have value is because everyone's wondering if it has a shot at a PSA 10. And the subgrades actually confirm that it doesn't. All right. Perfect. Octavio. Get this light out of my way. I feel like the uh, chair sits lower on the floor. Put Adventure Time in Colin's bag also, Wall. Well, what are you talking about? There we go. Mr. Octavio, thank you so much. Would it be easier to sell a CGC 10 Pristine or PSA 10? Uh, I would say the CGC 10 Pristine is a better, a better card than the PSA 10 these days. Now, Colin needs a bag. Colin needs a, a label. How do you feel about cards that have been crimped by the pack, valuable or not? Nah? Uh, if it's crimped really bad and it's a popular Pokemon, I think that's pretty cool. It's, a, it's an oddity. And especially with the modern cards these days, you need some way for your card to actually feel kind of rare. So I think it adds to the value. Oh, it's going to tell me rates have changed. Give me a moment here. Okay. Okay. Print. Mister just sent in an order for a couple packs, stickers, and Adventure Time. If you remember, please open Card Wars. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right. So Colin Barnes. Fold this over. Did you put Adventure Time sealed in Colin's bag? Why are you asking that? Did Colin... Colin didn't order an Adventure Time. There we are. There we go. <laughs> Diecast, another thing, says five poker Pokemon cards. I have a bag, but want to ship before my year is up. Ah, uh, ooh, very interesting. Okay. So what are you saying? You have a bag that's like 11 months old? If you have a bag that's like 11 months old, I'm not guaranteeing anything, okay? We'll start looking for it. We got one. I want my bag shipped before the year is up. Okay. Today, but last year. Repo it anyways. Here is this, and here is this. Die cast, huh? Free packs were last night, says Funko. Here we go. And here we go. We did two streams with free packs in it. 
Here's a Ludicolo. Ratata, Execute. Oh, nice, man. Gyarados and Coughing. That's pretty good. Wow, a lot of poker cards. Yeah, poker cards are awesome. So die cast and other things. Sounds like a really old D-bag. Let's start looking for... Well, first of all, let's look up and see how old this order was from the past, huh? Just wondering the last time you ordered with me because it'll give me a clue. Looks like you ordered a round of shipping. I only want green, red, and blue, and yellow deck. Now, that's not a good way to think about them, in my opinion. Okay, so you, you likely still have a bag because it says that you last ordered in May. Let's go looking for a die cast bag. Okay, there's Dylan. Dontrell, Dylan, Dylan, Diancio, Dylan. Oh, and here it is. Told you. Die cast and other things. All right, no problem, man. So here's your bag, and here are your lovely cards. Huh? Very good. <laughs> yeah, I hate telling people bad news, like a bag got repoed. Somebody returns on 11 months and 29 days and says, all right, you got my bag? <laughs> I might not. I'm supposed to, but there's a chance that it's gone already. All right, let's open this up. Especially if the bag has very little in it. That is a, a very good indicator that it'll get repoed maybe a little early. Okay, let me grab your email. Diecast, I'm using the address that you provided in PayPal, okay? Print. Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. There we go. And it's gone. <laughs> I strike ran first while he unmodded me. Alex was not showing up to the stream enough, so he lost the mod. <laughs> Too funny, man. Here's Mario Quintana. I made a payment of 100 on my slab away on January 6th. I've been checking Discord. It has not been updated. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, so Mario Quintana. Now, you're saying your Dragonite... Should have been updated by $100, huh? All right, give me a moment. All right, guys. Uh, Mario is saying that I missed a $100 payment on a slab away. And what that's going to require is for me to get all of his orders together and see when he first started paying it down. Mario. And so we're going to have to work our way backwards and, and check every order. Because $100 is a lot of money. Um, you know, a good idea, Mario, in the future, don't just make the same $100 every time. Make like 101 102 103 If you make payments in that nature, then you can always look at the payment plan, or the uh, payments made in the Discord, and you can easily discern if one of them's been missed. But if you do the same amount every time, you're, you sit there scratching your chin and you go, so did he uh, service that or not? <laughs> You know what I mean? So, but but let's find out how much is in your slab. So we got Mario Quintana. It looks like he was slabbed away in November. And you started out with a total of 1,025. And it says right now you've paid down to 550. So we're expecting you to have uh, sent $475. That's what we're expecting you to have sent towards your slab away. Now I'm going to start working my way backwards. I'm going to start adding these up. It says on... January 5th, like you said, $100. Wait, what did your message say? It says you sent a, hey, mister, I made a payment on January 6th for $100. In my account, you don't have any orders on January 6th. Let's go over this real fast, Mario. So right here, it says January 5th, actually, and then it jumps to January 9th. So I don't know if there's a problem going on right there or if maybe this was like, January 5th at like 11.59 p.m. for you. You know what I mean? So just want to point that out. So that's where we're starting. Okay, now time to start figuring out what you've actually paid. 100 to my slab away. So December was 100 towards your slab away. Okay. Give me a second, guys. 
Uh, okay, on December 8, 100 towards your slab away. Is that right? And then on November 24th, 100 towards your slab away. Well, we're already at $400, so it seems like I didn't miss a payment. Oh, actually, so hold on. So, and then on November 13th, it, 13th, it says 100 on your slab away. Toward my slab away. Oh, maybe there is something missing. Maybe I spoke too soon. So 500, oh, I'm sorry, 400 goes to 500. We're not adding 500. No, you might be right, Mario. That's why we're working it out. Toward my slab away, 50. Toward my slab. All right, let me update it, Mario. It, it, it looks like it's probably the case that we did miss it. All right, perfect, man. Sorry about all that. All right, it's updated. Yeah, the nice thing is we can always get on and look up all the uh, payments on PayPal and get it adjusted. And that's why we have that sort of like public ledger on the slabaways. All right, so it's all fixed. Sorry about that. Oops. I was doing my math in my head like backwards at that point where I said, well, it looks like. <laughs> Let's see. Aaron Bradley Gordon, can I bulk grade my Articuno, please and thank you. It's in between my thick NBA stack. Your thick thighs, huh? All right. He said thick. Articuno. Oh, nope, that's not it. Well, I thought this would be easy to find. Oh, man. All right, your whole bag's basically NBA, so hold on. Okay. Tops cards. I know, Tops cards. They're so nice. Look at all these cards. Here it is. Articuno. Boom. Don't don't slide. Everything's sliding, dude. I hate it. <laughs> we need like some friction on this map. On this mat. Mister, I pulled a hundred dollar card from you the other day and was wondering if I could get in a top loader. It's just a penny sleeve. Uh no. Because if you if I do it for you, everyone will ask me to do it. We don't do that. There we are. How about that for an answer? <laughs> If it's giving you anxiety, have me ship it out. Mister, just put that coin silver in the live custom. All right, we're putting, this, we're putting the silver coin in the live custom. Stop sliding. There we go. Sweet. You missed the tape sound. All right, guys, I'm going to pack your bag up live. I remember when I used to do that. What a weird thing to do. Pack, pack the bag up live. Can you put my cards in card savers? No. This is for Aaron B. Gordon. There we go. If I didn't think the cards were safe the way we're doing it, then I would change the whole system. They are safe. Well, great. Okay, we got it. Boom. But the packing tape was ASMR. People would say that it would wake them up in the middle of the night. Octavio W. Pugs. We are nearly out of these W. Pugs. We'll offer top load service for $5 next stream. All cards and savers. You might as well write my name on it now. Oh, because that's the thing you'll end up pulling. <laughs> there we go. Can you TCC grade my driver's license? Legitimately, yes, I can. I'm worried about my card. Could you just go slab it for me, like right now, says Troy? <laughs> I'll go slab it for you, like right now. Okay, Octavio Melendres. Let's see what we got. That's hollow. And that's hollow. But they're not waifus. Whoa, $100 card. Better put it in two top loaders. Here's 
Booby girl. Did I miss the Derek Jones order? Uh, no. He got full art. Nice. And there's a hollow. Gift from the goddess Hestia. What a lonely guys watch this show. I'm still traumatized when Alex drilled that BK slab. What? We haven't drilled a slab in a while, actually. I don't even know where the drill is, so if you guys hired me to do it, I couldn't do it. Hestia Bay. Here we go. So you got a full art. Yeah, that's a full art right there, or we should call it like a triple rare, whatever it is. What are they calling it? Super rare? That's a super rare. I'm too poor to drill right now, says Alex. I'm sorry, Alex. That's because you're spending all your money cutting cards. I want a signature so bad, mister. Oh, I know the feeling, Joey Barton. If I knew where the next signature would be, I would tell you. I'd say, go open this, Joey. There's going to be a signature in it. Derek Jones, one live, two lost origins. Anything for Derek Jones. Derek, that's cold. I'm sorry. These cold live customs scare me. They scare the, the bejesus out of me. Two lost origins. This is Mario. Thank you. Here's some smooches. Smooch. No problem, man. Th sorry about mixing it up. I don't know how I could have missed it like that, but... But again, that's why we keep all the payments public and we got PayPal so we can track it all, make sure it's correct. Here's Iskin and Zorua. But did you hear my idea? If you make each payment a little bit different, then it's easier to um, it's easier to notice if a payment's been missed. Because like, let's say you sent $85 on one order and then 90 on the other, and you say, I think you missed the $85 order. And I look it up. I can actually go see in Discord that I never withdrew 85 specifically. Like I'll notice that the previous one was 90 and that there is no $80 or $85 one done. So all I do then is verify that it was in PayPal and I go, bam, done. Got it fixed. So that's just an idea for all of you. What we do is very like off the cuff. You know what I mean? So I think about these little things. It's very scrappy. We have a scrappy setup. It's all his fault. No, it's not his fault at all. It's my fault. It, this is just an idea for making things easier in the future when I make mistakes. Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Shop says, I believe in the last order I asked for shipping. I don't know if you noticed it or might have missed it on the stream. I did I did miss it. Ugh. I did not realize you asked for shipping. I'm sorry. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Shop. Holy... That enough cards? You gotta need more cards. Uh, what'll work? Does it work? Oops. <laughs> that says Yu Gi Oh card shop on it, right? Yep. My V Star, Mr. V Star Universe might be one of the hottest sets in a while. I agree. It's very fun to open. I can tell. Oh, really? Have we not shipped you in a while? Okay, let me go look up your address in PayPal. I'll be right back. Hey, aren't those Yu-Gi-Oh cards, says David Fulado. Hey! Chat is home. Okay, we're looking up Yu-Gi-Oh. <whistles> Yu-Gi-Oh card shop. I have an order that begins with seven, an address, I mean, that begins with seven. Dude, I'm dying of thirst. Okay, I've got your email. I went from two inches to three inches when I bought Lost Thunder. Damn, you got the three inch Punisher, whoa. Okay, here we are. And print. The three inch Punisher. Run the likes up, boys and gals. How many years until Mr. actually has a drink for stream? Mr., get yourself a drink. Uh, I did have a drink the last two times. I don't this time. And it has not taken me very long to get, very much time to get thirsty. Patrick Grieve, three of the Nintendo Tops game packs. Oh, these are awesome. I highly anticipate these becoming more expensive over time. 
especially at the rate that they're getting opened. All right, so people enjoy these. Now, we noted the first pack was a little benty. Let's see if this is just fine, though. Yeah, that's looking fine. Okay, good. Mr. used to drink Monsters. Yeah, I don't drink so many, so much energy drink anymore. I hear they're really bad for you. Win with Mario. It's me, Mario. Wahoo. Okay. Guess I used to drink those, and it would get me all hypers, like Honey Boo Boo. It's my go-go juice. Then I started hearing people's testimonies that their dad would drink uh, like Monster or Red Bull, and he'd drink it every day, and then he died of a heart attack. So I listened to that, and I said, oh, I'm all done drinking that. <laughs> so now you never see a Monster drink on my table. Super Mario! Woohoo! It's -a me! <laughs> Mister is a Felino Latina version of Honey Boo Boo. I heard size doesn't matter. Oh, is that what you heard? Sounds like something a guy with a small peepee -pee would say. I rarely see Mr. Go to pee when he's live for several hours. Linda! Whoa! You didn't tell me that we could pull sexy waifus out of here, out of these game packs. Size of the slab collection is all that matters. <laughs> That's not true, man. <laughs> That's a, maybe to other Pokemon nerds. Yeah, sure. All right. Patrick Creeve. What are the Super Mario packs? I've never seen these. Uh, these are Nintendo Tops game packs. Game pack. They used to cost 25 cents. Now they cost $10. Think about that level of appreciation. Somebody... If somebody bought these up at 25 cents a pack and they're selling them like I sell them now, they're rich. They're doing just fine. They're going, woohoo, Mario. It's me. Let's go. There's a Star Wars Galaxy 7. Not sure if you want to get it. I, I've seen it. Let's see. Star Wars Galaxy 7 Booster Box. I saw it and I didn't buy it last time. Actually, I don't see it anymore. Let me look up Star Wars Galaxy. Boom. And, yeah, that's not working. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, we've got another box of Star Wars Galaxy. We just... Open it up and offer it on the menu right now. <laughs> what are these freaking expensive slabs? They want like a million dollars on these. Yeah, I have to do this another time, man. So, True Calvin says one shiny star. Shiny star is almost sold out. No, it's not. Wait, we got plenty of shiny star. What am I saying? It's not that it's almost sold out. It's that I'm basically out of... Yeah, I think I have to find a sealed box. That's what I really mean. So let me go hunting for a sealed box of it because it, it is somewhere. Oh, it's right here. I found it. Okay, and then five lost abyss. Lost a pussy. One, two, three, four, five. Ta da! 25 cents per pack. I'll buy some right now. Yeah, I would too if they were 25 cents a pack. Holy. All right. I was scooping those Mario boxes up well over a year ago. They're doing very well for me. Sneep. All right. Investing in Mario. I got something real special. I got a Mario um, Nintendo Game Packs version 2 box. And there's like none of those out there. And I paid a lot for it. I think I paid like, I can't remember. It was like $5,000 or something. It was really expensive. Okay, you got Zami Zenta. Cool. Kingdra. This is for Chugalvin. Cold. There's a chance you might have missed Jordan M. Order. Why do you say that, Joey? Do I get Lost Thunder in V-Star or Pokebra in V-Star? I don't know. I have a first-gen 
PS5 digital sealed. There's 20 of it. Calgary Grades will be done tomorrow. Okay, true Calvin. Mm -hmm. We're ready to process the Zell order. Let's do the Zell orders now, guys. Mr. makes 5K from MLP every stream. He can afford Mario. I haven't heard. Lost under. I ordered 30 minutes before the stream. You guys are so funny. You guys are always worried that you've been missed. When I really don't miss people that often. It's pretty rare. Um, but, but really all that's going on is, you know, there's a little bit of a wait time. Okay, first of all, we received $20 of Ethereum. Who was that guy who said he sent this? I don't even remember. I apologize. I should have written it down at the time. I know his comment is saved. Who was it that sent the $20 of Ethereum? I remember you wanted a pokey, bro. Okay, and then Kyle J. McClanahan says, one Pixar, one Adventure Time, two Silver Tempest. Thank you, Kyle. Can I keep all the Adventure Time? Um, the rule is, if it's if if it's under a dollar, it's considered bulk. Was asking about nine dollar Mario packs on the menu. Oh, the nine dollar Mario cards on the menu. I see. Yeah, try buying one. They're really cool, man. So I believe I need a new box for the Adventure Time and one Pixar. Here we are. There we go. Give me a moment. Let me go get a box of Adventure Time. I'm just having a little trouble locating it, but I know there's some nearby because I brought them over today. They're just hard to find is all. There must not have been very many of them. That's my little ponies. Shoot, man. I know I brought them over today. Let me check this big old box. Maybe they're just like well hidden in this box. I can't find them. Shoot, man. Let me try dumping these out. <laughs> they gotta be here. Give me one more minute, because I, I want to find these freak. Wait, is this it? This has got to be it, right? No. Where are they?
All right, I hate to tell you this, man. I can't find them. I know they're over here. I, I hand brought them over here. Um, Kyle J. McClanahan, I will have to write you a rain check. I don't want to hold the stream up anymore. One adventure time. Wait a second. You know what? It occurs to me. Which adventure time did you order? Did you order the prestigious Weiss Adventure Time? Or are you talking about the Card Wars pack? This is $10. No, he is talking about the Weiss pack. Yeah, okay. There it is. All right, one Adventure Time. We have to locate it. It's in my house somewhere. There's such an incredible amount of stuff laying around. I can't find it. And I won't be able to find it until I get all of my... I need to get all of my shelves up and get everything back on the shelves in a nice, organized manner like I had it in my other home. Huh? Ask John. He's here. John might not remember either. Somebody sent me $80, uh, $20 of Ethereum. I don't know their names. We are? Next time, I'll remember that. When the Ethereum gets sent and the guy's talking, I have to get his name immediately. Okay, Mr. Kyle... That's frustrating, man. It's frustrating knowing that they're over here. They're over here. I just can't find them. They're probably in the other room, but the lights are off because my wife's sleeping. Oh, you got the skeletons hugging. I never watched that one. And look at that. Did you see the card slide right down? This table is too slippery right now. So no Pokebras tonight? No, there's a lot of Pokebras. What are you talking about? There we go. Yeah, go for... You can open the Pokebras. How's the night been, mister? Uh, it's been a very busy week and a very busy night. How many more packs of plasma left after this pack break? I can't say that number. That would be searching. Here's Vulpix. The price is more expensive on them. That's all you need to know. Mister, I'm dumb. I thought you were looking for the Pokebros box. Oh, no, it's Pokebros right there. They're not lost. The Adventure Time, which I brought over because I knew I was nearly out of them, that's missing. All right, that's for Kyle. Let's get this in your bag, Kyle. Kyle, you got a rain check on that card on the uh, Adventure Time. I like your Rainbow Vulpix. That's a nice looking card, man. Did you see this? Kyle wanted all the cards in Adventure Time. I think he's going to send for shipping later. Put one sealed in his bag, maybe later. On the stairs, mister? Would it be on the stairs? Would we have left it on the stairs, you think? I might have done that. Okay. We have an order now for Weston Miller. Two Lost Thunder Spots. Weston Miller. What's up, Weston Miller? Any dog lovers here, mister? Me, 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 me. Weston Miller. You left a few boxes there, says John. Oh, I bet it's on the stairs. Uh, I bet it's on the stairs. We'll check the stairs right after this, guys. I bet it's on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I love dogs. I love when they stay off of my private property and they don't piss in my bushes or bark at me through my window from my deck and they don't take poops in my yard. That's my favorite thing about dogs when they don't do that. Here's Gerdos. Meh. Ghost of Anthony took it. <gasps> I knew it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Neat. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Raider Rookie David Johnson and LaMelo Ball. What? You haven't called the police on your neighbors yet. My wife did. Yeah. My wife actually called them today. She went full Karen. LaMelo Ball. Whoops. Complete players. Okay. I don't think that they did anything. She told me that animal control drove through the neighborhood and then left. And nothing happened. Go. 
Did they kill the dogs? No. I like when they buy, bark all night long, every single night, for all of eternity. Actually, the dogs at the other lake house would do that. They'd be barking in the middle of the night, and I have no clue what they were barking at. It's not like there were other dogs, so they must have been, like, barking at deer or something. I'm not sure. They just, rawr, 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 just never ending. And I'd point it out to my wife, and she'd be like, damn it, I, I didn't notice until you pointed it out. <laughs> and then she'd be all aware of it. <laughs> there you go. Rip to the seven-year-old girl who was mauled by Pitt in prayers to her family. I saw this earlier today. I'll bring Ruski, and we can act like it. Bit wasn't our house that called. What? <laughs> Did they tell the dog owners to get their dogs? Uh, probably not. They probably just drove through the neighborhood. Now it's attacking a police officer. Was there a pit bull attack that killed a girl? Is that actually a thing? Oh my god. This was two days ago. Seven-year-old Louisiana girl mauled to death in yard by neighbor's pit bull. Bro! Why is it I can log on my computer and once a week I can find the latest kid or, or old person who's been mauled by a pit bull? That's crazy, dude. At first it was just kind of a meme, but it's like actually a reality. I can literally just log on once a week and another person has been mauled by pit bulls. Wait, this is 10 hours ago. Look at this. Columbia County boy has long road to recovery after being attacked by three pit bulls. What? Oh man. Because they're popular dogs and people suck at training dogs. All right, so anyways, Weston Miller, let's grab your bag, Weston. It's nuts, man. Now Tyranitar's here to fight. It's pit season. Play like the complaint didn't come from your house because we have a dog as well. <laughs> oh my god. Was Noss! William Shaw. Yeah, you never, nobody wants to be the Karen who calls the police officer and says, get this roaming pit bull out of here. William. Wilbur. But I was, I was talking about how earlier my wife wanted to go on a walk, but she didn't want to be confronted by the neighbor's pit bull, so she stayed inside instead. And she was really depressed by that feeling. Weston, did you need a new bag? She's like, I feel like I can't go outside my new home because that pit bull might be roaming around. Will Sharp, Winston Lee. She says she feels like she's not strong enough so my wife doesn't have like muscles, basically. She's got a small, thin frame. And she's like, if I was seriously attacked by any large dog, I couldn't win. I couldn't fight it off. And so she feels like she'd rather just wait inside and until the dogs are no longer roaming around. I just feel like that's an awful way to have to live. Have her carry a gun. Yeah, I know. Imagine having to carry a gun when you go for a walk. I should have a bag, says Weston. Oh, okay, let's place that there for a minute, Weston. Might be in a different spot than usual. Oh, you do have a bag. Here it is. Weston Miller. You know why your bag's over here, Weston? We're all out of room in that W box. It's like 100% full. It's a pretty valid complaint. Yeah, like, so if I went walking, I think I could win. I'm big enough. I'm heavy enough. Uh, you know, I can tolerate a lot more pain than her. But she's pretty small. Okay, let's go get that adventure time now. You guys want to come with me? Here goes. Let's go looking for it. We got to be quiet, though. My wife is sleeping out there. <laughs> I'm already making a mess in here. Whew.
Oh, it's, maybe it's in this bag. There they are. Adventure time. Okay. <laughs> Look at this big empty room. We just got this big ass empty room. I saw a ghost. You guys want to see something crazy? Look. <laughs> this light flickers. Oh, I can't do uh, the fisheye lens? Oh, that's weird. Yes, yeah, the flickering light. Oh, it's not flickering right now. Okay, let's go. Ooh. This room is gigantic. Put that down. That room is so much larger than the last one. Pitbull is gonna get you in the dark. All right, <laughs> excuse me. Put that back in. Here we are. All right. Ha ha. No. Uh, the bulk cards are worth something now. Please put them in the bag. Oh man, I don't want to fight over bulk. Um, sleep. Yeah, I mean the the bulk cards. Oh, you got a good pull, Marceline. I remember you. Congratulations. Wow, that's a lucky pack, man. Put them in the bag, mister. It puts the lotion on his skin. Uh, maybe you're right, actually. I mean, let's just do a little research. So this is called Gunter Giant Penguin. So you might be right. It is something I'm not very familiar with. Weiss, Adventure Time. Gunter. I'm looking at it. Yeah, he's not wrong, actually. I'm looking at it. It looks like some of these Weiss cards are expensive. Um, well, so there's one that sold back in October. When I checked sold, like this one sold for like a dollar. Um, I tell you what, since it's so close and since you clearly want it very badly, we'll do it, okay? I know I'm not wrong. I do this for a living, says Beefy. Here you go, Beefy. Mr. Knows Best. I do it for a living too, Beefy. There we go. That makes me right. <laughs> Beefy, my biggest concern is if everyone started asking for bulk, the whole table would fill up with bulk. And you know how I feel about bulk. You do Adventure Time for a living? Hey, Mr., tell me about how long ago you bought those Nintendo Game Packs boxes. They have really spiked. Yeah, so uh, I bought those Nintendo Game Packs... How far back did I actually buy them? Was it two years ago? I predicted that the Nintendo game packs from 1989, the tops ones, would go for a lot of money. So I took thousands of dollars and scooped enormous chunks of them off the market. And then I kind of let it sit in my closet for a while before I really started talking a whole bunch about them. Uh, they were on the menu, but I never really, you know, I never really, I wasn't like shouting at everyone, you gotta buy this or anything. It wasn't until quite a bit later that there were some 10s that hit the market, some PSA 10s of the cards from that set that I said, see that card selling for 500 as a 10? I sell those. And then they started selling a lot more consistently on this channel. And from there, we've gone through tens of boxes, uh, just a whole bunch of them. And um, yeah, and so just, they're kind of steadily climbing over time. I want my bulk, says Corn Rules. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see who's next. We got some orders to take care of. Kyle Schaff, Five Evolving Skies. Oh, Kyle. There we go. I want my bulk. One spot in the booby break. Ah, man of culture. Kyle Schaff. There we go. Kyle Schaff. Yeah, I've done well with the Mario cards. 
my thoughts behind him is that it's Mario and his tops and it's vintage. And I said, based on the concepts that work for Pokemon, why would they not work for Mario? And so I, I just scooped up tons of them. I got some boxes of the Mario game packs that are in very good condition. And I intend to keep those sealed and sell them as sealed boxes, right? You can actually have the BBCE company, like, grade them and seal them. And then I got that Mario Game Pack 2 box. Ooh. Actually, I think it's in this room. Pretty sure it is. Normally it would not be, but it's only with me now because I'm moving. Here's Suicune. Look at that Suicune. I think it's called the BBCE company, or is it the BCE company? The BBC. Hey, it's me, says Bill Stout. It's Bill Stout. He showed up when we said BBC. Here's Burjmite. And here's... I'm smarter. And better. All right, there we are. BBC Company? You selling the game pack too? No. I would very much like to keep that. I've seen the price of those packs, and it's insanity. Game pack two is only available in Europe. You'll rip. That's right, and they've got a lot of cool cards in there. I've seen them. Good luck with Mario, mister. Thanks, man. Sometimes you got to invest! But let me check my... Let me check my sold... Or not sold, purchased items. Let me see if it keeps track of this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know how much eBay keeps track. So we're going to put in Nintendo Game Packs. And... Okay, it's got a list of all these game packs. Let me see if I just put in game packs. Yeah, um, might be too far back at this point. Nintendo Tops. It, it was definitely too long ago for it to have kept track of the order. Maybe if I have it nearby, I can just show you though. I, I love, oh, it's right there. It's literally right here. I can show you very easily. So I showed this off when I bought it. Oh, oh I better not fall holding this. I was going to trip there. Check this out, guys. A real treat for your eyes. Oh, look at the condition on this, too. Not bad for how old it is. Look at that. I think that's like the original tape and everything. Can I open this carefully? There we go. There's Metroid. So cool, man. All right, I better put this back away. We don't want anything to, we don't want, we don't want anything hurting this. Open one. Absolutely not. No way. Absolutely not. We have a complete box here. Probably one of the only complete boxes in the world. I don't know how many other complete Nintendo Game Pack 2 boxes exist. See, it says second series, all new game ticks, uh, tips, ticks. <laughs> yep, that is super rare. Very proud of that. That's part of my collection. You know, it's cool when people enjoy looking at it. That's when you know you got something real cool. I'll buy that off you someday. I mean, every man has his price, but my price for that one is high. Because I like it. Alan Doan says 20, Lost Origin. So I should never be closed-minded to selling it, but you got to offer me something real nice. Let's start doing burner boxes. Huh, that'd be an interesting concept. So 20 Lost Origins. How much for a case of Lost Origins? Well, that's a good question. You want to open up a case of them? Or is that why you're asking? There's four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Lost Abyss. Yeah, I mean, if you're doing a case of Lost Abyss, 
whole case. We could probably work out a special price. That's not my normal uh, menu price. I think people would want to watch that. So there'd be a value to entertaining everyone. All right, here we are. I haven't seen a whole case of Lost Abyss open before. I dropped 400 on Tifa and Cloud 10 minutes ago. What? Here we are. What is that, like a drop of money? There we go. Why you repeat, but have Lost Origin? This is Alan Doan, and he ordered 20 Lost Origin. Like a grand? Hey, mister, did that ETH order go through earlier? Oh, you mean this one? What name do I need to write down for the ETH? Probably your YouTube name, right? R-N-G-R exclamation point. <laughs> Let's write your name down. <laughs> I like this song that's playing. Yeah, you guys probably can't even hear the music. Let's turn this up. We're playing chip tunes. I asked about a case of Lost Abyss, and he said Lost Origin because the order says Lost Origin. Yes, that's exactly right. It's fine for the new bag. All I wanted was a Poke Breath. Thanks again. You're next, RNGR. Don't fall asleep. You're next. He says, Wow, expensive. Yeah, real expensive. And what's special about my box is the seller mentioned that it contained all of the original packs. Uh, back, th back in the day, they didn't shrink wrap the boxes, so there was no plastic shrink wrap. You'll notice that there was a little piece of tape, and that's it. And the seller said that the, the booster packs inside of the box are all original. And so what I ought to do is have it sealed up by the uh, company that does that, the company that screwed Logan Paul, whatever their names are. All right. Alan Doan. Oh, right off the bat, Cook. I don't know about that. <laughs> There's Cook. Boof. You got a boof. Wurmple, a rhodactyl. This is, this is chip tunes that we're playing, and they're just kind of okay. They're definitely background noise. That's why I turn it down, because I, I, I'm not 100% sure if you guys enjoy listening to that. Cook, that's the chase. Yeah, I know. Barbacole. Oh, that's not bad. Golden Pikachu. Do you think the Full Art Lugia will be worth anything later on? Full Art Lugia. Yes. MGR. That's right. I just bought a Japanese exclusive stamp box. Any thoughts on the box? Um, it sure is a box. Woohoo! All right. Bob Plum. Licky tongue. Oh, licky licky. Damn, he's got a suck you. Oh, very cool. Alan Doan. You got a hit today. That is a super Omega off center card. Look at that. Look at that white dot. That's the guidance dot or something, right? Isn't that what they say? Wow, so cool, man. This is, I think when it comes to the Sword and Shield era, these are going to be fun cards to collect, the way off center cards. Ultra thick bottom. All right. Well, this is how you make money in Sword and Shield, I think. You got to get a card like that. All right. Rating Bardevoir. <laughs> That's too funny. Alan Doan goes, whoa, congratulations, man. It was a lucky night for you, huh? Here's Torkoal. Med tight. That means the whole box might be like that. Quick, bye, bye, bye. Here's Opal. Hew, 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 hew. Mister, would you give an OC grade? Yes, that is 100% an OC grade. That's super OC. There's right on these. Here's... Oh, Aerodactyl. Oh, man. Congratulations. And Bronzong. Now, hold on, guys. Don't try to wipe out the rest of those packs. 
I'm gonna sell those as potentially error packs now that we're aware it's an error box. The rest of that box, I need to buy it quick. Mr. Hold'em, you gotta know when to hold them. Maybe I'll put them in the live customs. All right. Whoa. Looks good to me. So this is for Alan Doan. Nice, nice strike on these gold miscut cards. You've struck gold. Here we are. I mean, he got the pulls out of it. He did a good job. I'm going to bet, though, that there's probably more in there, just like the other guy said. Alan Doan. And I know for a fact, at $5 a pack, someone's going to buy the entire box in like two seconds if I don't say don't. So I got, let me buy one. No. <laughs> I, just, I just said if I sell them, we're going to sell them as defective packs, okay? And then you're taking a risk on a bit more of an expensive pack. Because ultimately, if you could pull, let's say the chase card, and it's way off center, I mean, you're going to have like a one out of one or a one out of three kind of card, and that could go for a lot of money. So we've got RNG exclamation mark. All right, you ready? I know what I have. Do do blame snipe. It ain't right. It's wind. All right, you ready? Alan Doan. Not Alan Doan. R-N-G-R. -R. Oh. Getting a round of poker cards. Mar Stomp. We got Furret. Usharp. Beldum. Throw. This guy. And Matang. All right, there you go. You got a round of the poker cards. Very cool, man. It's neat when you get an extra large round of them. All right. Man, I'm loving this song that's playing. R N G R exclamation point 123. He's going to go on the R box. Yeah, don't send in for those lost origin because we got to get a different uh, round of them. Well, if you do, we got it. That's all. We just got to get a different round of them. And these got to be sold as like a defective round. John, where's your TCC ball? Yeah, come on, John. Next up, Brett Fairney. Mr. Brett says, can I have two lost Thunderpot? You got it. It's Mr. Brett. <laughs> That's not fair. Those defective packs should be mine. Here it is. Okay. David Mallory, two spots. You got it, David. <laughs> Lost thunder spots. PB size increases. I'm disappointed. I've been here. Did someone pay to demod Alex? <laughs> I made $15 to take Alex's mod roll away. But then I'm just going to give it back to him tomorrow. How much for error packs? You should let people only buy one. Oh, that's very interesting. What would you guys pay for one of the potential error packs? So he pulled two full arts out, and they were very miscut. I'm going to bet there's at least two to three more uh, miscuts uh, in the remainder packs. Does anyone else feel the heat coming from the live customs? Who's sniping that lost thunder spot? $4, says Jason. Yeah, same price. I got I to gotta be honest then. If you want it for the same price then I should just open it myself. Does that make sense? Because I'd like it at that price. I was watching, but not member. King says 10. Yeah, 10 probably closer to a more realistic price because we don't know what'll be in there. Mister, if I sent three, I don't get Lost Origins from that box. No, I'm sorry. That That's not going to be a defective pack, okay? It's going to be a regular Lost Origin pack. Two spots and Lost Thunder. Brian Caesar, revised price for English Pokemon book box. Woohoo! All right, Brian, let's get you a label. How much to permanently remove mod from Mary so she shows up next time without mod? Uh, to permanently remove it from Mary, you would need 15 times 365. So to remove it for the full year, you would need $5,400. And so that would be a monthly subscription. And that monthly subscription is 15 times what, like 30? $450 a month. I said... Her, mister. All right, so let's see. 
Now we're looking for Caesar, right? Brian Caesar. What's up, Sven? Okay, we're checking your address. The address checks out. Very good. Copy this. Only thing I want to mention, Mr. Brian, is it could take a little bit of time before we generate enough bulk for you to get your box. John has informed me we're basically out of them. And that there's people waiting for them to be completed. But here you are. Mr. When's John going to be slabbing again? Uh, he was slabbing yesterday. But I know you guys are uh, excited to get your grades back. And don't forget, we need about 30 grades per day to keep John busy full time, okay? So if you like John, send in a grade or two to keep him busy. Give us a price for permanent removal, and we'll go fund me the money. Uh, so it, it's not a permanent thing ever. It's $5,400 a year. I'll do a discount for you. How about $5,000 for the whole year? But when the year's over, it's got to go back on. All right, this is for one bulk box. One English bulk box. I'll send a grade and an order now. I got you. Hey, mister, I put in an order, but I feel like I might knock out. If you happen to get to my order, I forgot to mention I don't have a bag. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. I sobbed today, but didn't have time to take a picture of it and post it. Damn, who did they want to demod so bad? Maybe the year would be long enough to make him stay. Need more bulk for the first... Need a bulk for that first order. I think it's what you're... Yes. All right, you're right. So, let's see what's next. Wilda Cardona, one Sun, Moon, Cosmic. Okay, let's get that Sun and Moon Cosmic then. This is for Wilder Cardona. Do you have a Pocket Monster Goldine and Seeking? Pocket Monster Goldine Seeking. I very, very, very likely do. Are you interested in buying those as a pair? All right. Pop this in here. We have Darren Thompson, two Pixar. Two Pixars. Here we go. It's an extra 15 bucks if it's a leap year. What? There we go. But Mr. is the king of Pokestan. I have a chair. I have a chair. Okay. Some hollows. Okay. You got the full art car from cars god i hate pixar <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i really liked uh, fam uh not family guy toy story a long time ago toy story i have not really enjoyed anything else they've produced over time <laughs> there we are i didn't even watch the latest toy story in fact i understand it's popular though so i gotta offer it that's my job <laughs> i ordered two grades thanks in advance mr john that's for Darren Thompson. Sweet. Do you maybe want to do base set pack break? I'm interested in that. Are you interested in that? Which one, English or Japanese? By the way, there is no vendor giveaway right now. Ah, yes, we need a vendor, give vendor giveaway slab. I need to pick one out. Pre-grade my bag number three, David Fillardo. Aaron Rodriguez says, hey, mister, just found out my fi fiance. Is pregnant, and I want to celebrate with 10 Silver Tempest. Yay! All right. If you get good pulls, it's a boy. If you get bad pulls, it's also still a boy. Congratulations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Fenders keep guessing, too. Ooh. Wonder what I should offer the vendors this time, huh? I'm a man. I'm a he. I don't get into that mentally ill stuff. Okay. He's new name is Mario. He's there we go. Sweet. We want cash. All right, what do we got? Here's Beldum. I have only boys, says Ben. <laughs> 
Oh, Duraludon. Okay. So seeing how this is a huge tower, a towering perfection, I think that the Pokemon cards are trying to tell you that you're having a new sun. That's my suspicion. Let's see what's next. This is a gender reveal prophecy. That's what's going on here, guys. So far, one Duraludon means that it's definitely a, a boy. Noibat. Reggie Drago. Blarg. Lord Bezos said to save my money, but I want pokies. Zara Aura. There's a new series called They Them, where a serial killer stocks a conversion camp. What? Full art trainer, boy or girl? Jeff Bezos says no big purchases in 2023. Sunkern. He's telling people not to make big purchases. He's going to cause a recession. You know, sometimes recessions are just caused by people not wanting to spend money. And if people are scared to spend, that's what causes them not to spend money. Here's Duraludon, Full Art, and Reggie Drago. Okay, cool. So I think that that means definitely a boy. Let's find your bag, Aaron. He's got the towering perfection, Duraludon. Congratulations. Aaron Seals. Mr. Aaron. Not in here. He's going to be a big diglet boy. OG Bob's Google, I swear. Ugh. Oh, man. My arm. That is a long reach. Adam Thorne, Aaron Merida, Adam Sharp. Is this a new bag? All right, new bag. What's a conversion camp? That's where they take you and they turn you into a gay femboy. Here's Aaron Rodriguez. Sweet. Mister, that was my order. I don't have a bag. Oh, there it is. I finished putting pokey cards in two folders. Joran Estrada, 10 Paradigm Triggers. You got it. Mr. Joran, it's where they pray the gay away. I'm going to make so French toast. I'll be back in a little. That sounds good, actually. French toast. I've, I've eaten enough food today. No more food for me. Not even allowed to think about food. Oh, no, I'm thinking about it. Intru the intrusive thoughts. Maybe I'm a maybe I'm a French toast sexual. <laughs> Toss this over here. Toss this over here. French toast is so good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh-huh. So that's for Jordan. Astrana. Mister, I'll pay eight bucks for a chance at the OC. Nah, I'll just open them for myself. Any flapjack moves? I think knowing that the packs most very likely contain error cards, I value them as error packs. And at $8 a pack, I would be better off just holding them. There we go. My Glizzy was fighting me earlier. All right, here we are. I have an order, says Finn. Nice. Ten? To be honest, I'm just going to hold at ten. I'm very curious what's in them as well. There we go. Mister, I had half a donut. Great job. The ozone layer is now on track to be repaired by the end of the decade. Really? Here's Reggie Drago. You need a donut? Your donut. Talk to me that way. Cold. Open them for us. You want me to open one? Oh my God, Procod's got a pit. He's got his pit bull. Pit bulls are the nicest, most gentle, kindest dogs. If you just raise them right. 
Meanwhile, Louisiana girl, torn to pieces, dying in the most painful, horrific way you can imagine, chewed alive by another animal. Cupcake would never hurt a child. Joran Estrada. What a horrible, 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 horrible way to die. Real painful. Chewed to death by a large animal. You know, I personally think you're going to hear story after story like that come out over time, and you're going to keep seeing pit bull bans, but we can't just federally ban the pit bull. First, there have to be hundreds more victims have to die first. You know, that's kind of how laws are written. We wait for someone to get killed torturously, then we've changed the law. We go, all right, now we have some horrible victim story. I guess we'll change the law now. That's how we do it. Isn't that wild? Peyton Van Winkle, five lost origins. All right, Mr. Peyton, I like German Shepherd. Mr. Say, anyone want a peanut? Ugh. Let's try this next box, Mr. Peyton. You might get lucky and have a, a uh, error card come out of here, at which point these packs will be designated error packs as well. It's human nature to be reactive instead of proactive. Oh, that was weird. They're upside down. I don't think that's necessarily what's going on here, though. What's going on here is people really like dogs, right? And so it's hard for them to consider that. Okay, you got one dog breed doing 65% of the dog maulings. Uh, but, but it's not the dog. The owners did it. It's like, man, you can predict which dogs are going to bite people just by looking at the data. There we go. What if the whole case that came out of is OC? That's not true because we are on the last two boxes of the case. All right, good luck. I hope you pull a nice off-center card, Peyton Van Winkle. Oh, oh, in fact, you did pull a very off-center card. This other box is being designated an OC box as well. So these are now OC defective packs. You got one more pack left. Maybe you get a big hit. Oh, two packs left. Here's Mr. Mime and Polywag Magnazone. You're rich. You got one of the OC cards. Congratulations, Peyton. All right. On Joe Rogan, there was a story of a guy, Pitbull, that killed a coyote. Uh, that's fantastic. I'm not a big fan of coyotes either. There you go. Mr. Fiending for the OC. Well, I know what I got. I know those packs are more value to you, to you guys. You just offered me $10 a pack for them. Not being silly, they're not the same as a Lost Origin pack. That's clearly a defective Lost Origin pack, so it's a different thing. All right, Mr. Mr. Payton, let's find your bag. Payton's having a good night. He got to test the other box. He's keeping them for himself. Peter, Quentin. I just don't know how they should be priced. Ooh. There's a price where it makes sense to price them up. Put that over there. I'll give you 20 doll hairs. Only nerds care about OC. You know, I completely agreed with you in the past. It has been a while and I'm smarter now. And I think that OC cards are probably one of the most valuable things about the Sword and Shield era because there's so much overprinting that you have to find some other way to consider a card rare. So if you can get a horribly defective, like Moonbrion, now you've got a card that's like one out of one or one out of 10, whatever the case may be. But if you just collect the regular Moonbrion, he's not rare. There's nothing about him rare, unless he's like a perfect grade. So perfect grades and defective grades are gonna be valuable over time in my opinion, because your card just looks so different from everyone else's, or it's perfect. Uh, but the average gem mint grade, that would, that's what I think is there's just too much of it. Meg Lardizone. Lardizone? What's up, Meg? This is for two lost abyss. Lost a bussy. All you need is alignment dots and is classified as miscut. When I think some companies like CGC will hand it out more easily. One Merlin sticker pack. Because I don't think, I think I've sent them stuff that got OC and it wasn't having the dot. One of the Adventure Time Card Wars. Here it is. New bag, please, says Meg. People pay big money to look at that alignment dot. Have you seen any OC One Piece cards yet? Uh, no. 
I mean, it's, it's definitely something we should research, right? So this pack, this pack is defective. Let me get you the slow poke out of here. This is yours for free, but this is a defective pack. Let me get the next one. Here we go. See, that's nice. Okay, we like that one. What percent ratio does PSA consider OC? Well, people are saying PSA only considers it OC if the alignment dot shows up. There you go. All right. 100% be aware of what you are selling, says OG. So that's for Meg. Now let's sneak these up, huh? Uh, so this stays sealed, actually. The uh, Adventure Time Card Wars booster. Those Adventure Time Card Wars boosters are on sale for $3. I'm clearancing them out. So if you did not get one from the uh, rounds where we had them for free the last two streams, you can still enjoy them if you want to place an order for one. Why was that defective? Uh, one of the corners was bent, and I didn't want to just hand off a bent corner card, so I got her a fresh pack. Open that card, Wars. That's me. It says Jack of Cards. Um, I guess I will. Yeah, I'll do it. Thing is, I don't recognize you, so you may be Meg. I'm not 100% sure. 2022, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Lost Origin, Aerodactyl, Full Art, PSA 9, 65 Best Offer. People are selling and grading them. Nice. There we go. She had a girl named, so Mr. Simp. Send me the Slowpoke. I did, I did not get one Mr. from you. Here's Ethan. Here's Husker Knight. Oh, Husker Knight and Immortal Maze Walker. I think these two characters are actually going to be popular because they were featured in that episode. Remember that? So, Immortal Maze Walker and Husker Knights were actually in the episode Card Wars. Cornfield Creature. <laughs> there we go. Meg! Mike, Michael, Miguel, Michael. We're looking for Meg's bag. Three hollows in one pack. That's right. Oh, new bag. I'm so stupid. Should have read the message. It has been a really good night and busy night for you tonight and not any lag happening tonight. So did you fix the lag? Uh, no, I didn't do anything. So it might just be luck. There we go. Sweet. We have Robert Vizzo, One Top's first movie. Are you okay? These are really good, and there's a limited number of them. So when I run out of these, it's not certain that I'll have a new round of them as nice as this round. Grade a winner, please, says Robert Vizzo. You got it, Robert. Oh my God! You got a you got a die cut card, man. I can already tell you this is a good pack. So you can see how the cards are just falling off the bone. See how they don't really stick to each other too much at all. That's extremely valuable with tops cards because the biggest. Look at that! Look at that, everybody! All right, perfect, man. Set that down. So that's Rainbow Charizard. And one Charizard is biting the other Charizard because he's evil. He's the evil clone. <laughs> I don't need Top's movie. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. All right. We set this in here as gentle as we can to help you get as high of a grade as possible. There we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my God, look at this. Triple hits. Oh baby, a triple! You've got the Pikachu puzzle piece. Whoa! And finally, this Ivysaur, which is a very strange card. 
these die cut cards, man. <laughs> wow, so cool. It's so Sugoi. The battle renewed. And the chase for Pikachu. Okay. So those last couple cards aren't anything to call home about, but that's okay. They're all worth something. You know, if any of those graded perfect or pristine, they're still valuable. And then look at that. Grade a winner. All right. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that it, it's edge doesn't look perfect. See the edge? I'm particularly worried about these three dots and that corner. Um, but overall, it's a very nice card, and it is a rainbow hollow. So that means even if it grades nine, it's still going to be pretty valuable. All right, let's see. Set this down for a moment. Slab the yard. Four last sold. OC Giratina lost origin full art alternate art 255 nice man all right any tops breaks says gen y any tops breaks yes there is a tops break ongoing one two three four five six there's only two spots remaining in the tops break okay robert vizzo There we go. Sweet. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, now we need Robert's bag. I can file the new crib, says Andres. Yeah? Robert Viz. Oh, someone stole it, says Jen. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Sweet. Um, we have Evan Stanichuk. He says, new bag. I'll take Pokey, bruh. Pokey, bruh. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Swoop. Char uh, yep, Charizard V. Whimsicott. Mimikyu. Bartholomew. Here's Jesse and James. Rock Ruff. Full Picks. And Zygarde. Mm, that's okay. I have mixed feelings about Zygarde. For Merlin Series 1. She has no color. Okay, that's three. Four and six paradigm trigger. I'm triggered. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Say it ain't so, Jen. Say it ain't so. Whoa, whoa. My stinkies. Do, 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 do. All right, what do we got? Beep. Evan Stanichuk. Reggie Lecky. Oh, you love saying, I'm triggered. <laughs> Stop triggering me. I'm going to need a safe space. Oh, that's hollow. All right, nothing crazy in the Paradigm Triggers. We're kind of used to that at this point. It's so hard to get a good pull. I got two, but I need all hot pulls and a signatures. I'm not playing here. All right, I'm going to get those for you guaranteed. Here we are. Hashtag not my gen. Whoa. I collect $2 bills. What? Maria. Are, are $2 bills legal tender still? Okay, Tangela. Look at that Tangela. I need to buy some Pokeballs. There we go. Have a good night, Mr. and Chad. Have a good night. OG says yes. Okay, here's a Magneton. 
Our real estate agent gave us some free $2 bills when we bought our very first condo together. So are the dollar, co dollar coins. The Sacagawea coin? I'd go collect one of those. Of course, $2 bill is legal tender. They're awesome, says OG Bops. Sponsored by Simmer Down Now. Here's Pikachu. All right, cool. You got the Pikachu, Mr. Evan. Mr. I can't sleep. Any hot pulls tonight? How's it going, David? Only hot pulls tonight, especially when David's here. So this is for Evan Stanichuk. What is this music? Ba -do -ba -do -boo 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 -ba -do -boo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo Hmm. Nope. Not in there. Eric Tang. Evan Staker. Eric Beltran. Oh, we can put Eric Beltran over here now. Sweet. So much rain happening. Got my first $2 bill as cash back from the state fair. I'm going to listen to you until I pass out, says David. Until you zonk out? We're trying to find... Oh! <laughs> Evan Stanichuk clearly says new bag in his message, and I just didn't read it because I'm a big stinky poopy. I'm sorry about that, Evan. Here we go. The good news, I guess, is we made more room in the e-boxes there by moving things around. So here's Evan... Stanichuk. I'm too poor to strike back, Ran. Okay, we're refreshing. We have Mr. Hardeep Singh, and he says, Large main list, custom booster. Whoa. Um... That's a big order, man. All right, you got it. All right, but, oops. So, since you made this order, and it's a really big one, and I think you're still relatively new to the channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ship you a little baggie of complimentary Pokemon cards, okay? And that verifies your address. So there, it's not. if I send you an item in the mail, you're not going to be able to do any kind of chargeback activity. That's kind of how it works. Because the moment you get that tracking number and you try to run a chargeback, all I do is show that to PayPal and they say, mm, 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 mm. So give me a moment. We do that with new guys, okay? Oh, you're from Canada. Oh, well, that makes it trickier because... Now, I don't want to spend a bunch of money shipping just some energy cards to you. Hmm. So I guess what I'd like to do then is talk about what the large is because I need to make sure you know what you're buying. And I don't know much about you because you're still new. Oh, no, where's the... Uh... <laughs> I don't know where the slab is now. Is it still in here? All right, so I don't even know where the slab went. Uh, but so it's for one slab. The largest for one slab, Mr. Hardeep. So your odds for this, your odds are one in 39. Those are your odds. So at $100 a pop, your odds are one in 39. 38 people will lose $100 in this large. They'll get... They'll get a Pokemon card very much like this out of their booster pack, okay? Not very valuable at all, right? 38 guys will get that. One guy will pull a very expensive Rocket Scyther out of his pack. That's the large. And uh, you're, you're new enough that I'm nervous that you're buying into the large because it's usually an activity for someone who's been around here for a while. Um, you know, people get a lot of buyer's regret from the large, especially when they buy directly in. Okay. And, uh, but I just want to make sure you're completely aware of what it is. All right. 
Don't have any buyer's regret. You just got to go with it. Okay, now Mr. Hardeep says a Topps 2000 pack break. You got it. Only one card. Mm, don't like it. Don't like it. It's scary, isn't it? But it's a uh, it's a it's a three thousand nine hundred dollar card. So the card is a PSA ten first edition Rocket Scyther Hollow with the population of like sixty or some or eighty. I don't remember. And the value of the card is three point nine thousand. So this is how the large was always meant to be. That's what the card is. That's how the large was always meant to be. Extremely high risk, extremely expensive cards. It was never supposed to be this other thing where there's like 50 cards in it. Because, you know, I could always fit those cards into like the live customs in certain ways, right? Boom. All right. So Mr. Hardeep would like to be in the pack break. Mister, what's an alignment dot? Uh, it's a dot that they use to cut the cards properly. Subadam, one lost thunder. The large was better as like a raffle wheel where more people got stuff in my opinion, but maybe too, I like the live customs. Yes, exactly. So the question becomes, why not just do that in the live customs? It's not distinct enough from the live customs, which makes it kind of unuseful. Super Dan, you're getting spot number 16, okay? So then we these two spots are still open. One pokey brill. Here we are. Super Dan! We got Pidgey. Victory Bell, very nice. Um, Al Creamy. Oh, very nice. That's an off-center Dragonite. And then... Oh, okay, so this is not crazy. This round is not crazy. But the Dragonite's Knight... Nice, and then this vintage Victory Bell is actually a rare. And base set Pidgey, that's for Super Dan. Oh, Super Dan. <laughs> Man, these songs are pretty good. Mister, would you grade that OC? The Dragonite? No, that's not OC. Oh, he's his Lost Abyss Knight. Here we are. How are these meant to be open, by the way? That just doesn't seem like it's meant to tear like that, does it? Yeah, I don't know, man. How are these packs supposed to tear? Wow, that just seems awful. Okay. <laughs> it's cold. Soup. Ugh. So now we've got Joey Barton. One live custom. Dip, 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 dip. Oh! Woohoo! Joey Barton getting some extra good luck. TG16 Zero Aura. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> so a guy sold me back a couple of his TCCG cards only because he was selling me his only because he was selling me his entire collection because he was getting out of the hobby. So I was stuck with a couple of these and I placed these into the live customs at a very, very cheap price. Like I think like 20 bucks for that Zara Aura probably. So here you are, man. Now, I don't know what it's worth, but it's a pretty nice card. All right, let's get your name on the back. Looks like it was Connor J. Fletcher who sold it to me. Okay, Joey Barton. Mm. Mm. Mr. Joey. One live, one slime. 
Let's see if we get a hit from the slime. One Evo Sky and one Lost Origin. Oops, that's not Evo Sky. So I will need to go get another box of Lost Origin. Auction for me, I'll cut you in on the profits. Oh, all right, we're auctioning, starting at a dollar. Give me a minute, I gotta find some Lost Origins. Lost Origins. Check in this room first. I'm gonna check out here, guys. So I totally found some. It was kind of difficult, but I did find some. Ugh. Since when does he not rotate the sobs until we hit 100 likes? I used to do that. I guess tonight, I haven't rotated the slabs because nobody's really buying them, so wait. Yeah, this is Lost Origin, good. Nobody's really been buying them, and I haven't really added any new ones to the table, so I'm not expecting them to sell anyways. Here we go. All right, first pack on front left, mister. I'm not even playing. Okay. Front left. Whew. Yeah, I might as well just display some cool slabs in the front rather than the ones that are for sale. It's been pretty slow selling the slabs that are currently on the table, uh, but they do sell. They just sell pretty slowly, so not really the focus of my attention at the time. Okay, front left. You got it, man. What's it, ha what's it cost to, to have our graded cards shipped? It's always $9. Yeah. Yeah. $9, so if you have, like, let's say, five slabs, that's not bad to, sh to ship five slabs for $9. Okay, here goes Joey Barton. Well, you got Aerodactyl. That's technically a pull. Okay, pack here is Zygarde. Oof. And... Oh, my God! You did it! You pulled Hollow Girl. Leave it to me, Millum. Yay! You did it! OC. <laughs> Mister, you, you opened it wrong. <laughs> you have to do it again. Sorry, Joey. Nothing wild this time. I think I'll put some hot slabs in the front. Just to tease you guys. I got 10 Evolving Skies booster boxes I keep as sealed. Nice, man. Yeah, those have done all right. Oh my gosh, cold, thanks. I'm sorry. If it was up to me, only Alex would get the cold ones. 
I used to have a place to store this. Now I'll leave it up on the table. Okay. I think earlier in the day stream, you put my cards in the wrong bag, says Brandon Boutillier. Brandon? Give me some details, Brandon. But first, let me grab these slabs. Brandon, we'll figure it out, man. It can all be figured out and fixed. Always. So what do we got here? What kind of box is this? Let's rock and return, is that what this is? Let's do this box. Ugh. Mr. Boutillier, it can all be figured out. Ow. Do I have store credit, says Charles Brucker. Charles, I don't know where the store credit box went. All right, I'm going to put some cool cards in the front. So these are not for sale. They're just for showing off. Here's a Lugia. Um, you store that coin in J box with my name on it. Good night for real friends. Nope, not this one. Looks like the uh, sleeve got torn a little bit. Let's do, what, this one. That's pretty cool. It's a neat little card. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, I gotta show this off. Okay, cool. What's up, Russ? I sent to slap away the Lugia. What? You crazy. Look at the long history on this dark magneton. So they bought it at 4.6 thousand. Let's see what it is today. Might be 4.6 thousand. You never know. Card market has declined a lot. Okay. So buy now. And we want to check the highest priced one. And there are none of them for sale. There are no first edition PSA 10s of that card for sale. Looks like the last one actually sold. Check this out, guys. On December 29th, marked down from 9,500. So I don't, know, I don't know what the deal they worked out was. Maybe it was 10% off, maybe 15% off. But um, that's great. That's great news for me. A Magneton card holder. Let's get a new sleeve real fast. I shouldn't have drawn on the front of that sleeve. What happened to your mod? Should cross grade to CGC. Oh, it, to, to give it a chance for like a pristine or something, right? All good, it was a pack of XY Evo and two NBAs. I just noticed, noticed the bag had a different last name. Hmm, okay. Brandon Boutillier. Well, I know there's another Brandon. And his name, you said it was an XY Evo, huh? You said it looked like it went to someone else's bag. Can you identify the other bag by chance? Because then we can figure that out real fast. Bobby, Bobby, Bryant, Brett, Benjamin. Uh, you know what we should do? We should go find your bag and verify if it's in there. Then we'll know if you have it at all. Here's a Bruno, Brandon. Oh, it could have been Brandon Galligan. He's got the name Brandon. Aha! You're so right. Instead of putting it into Brandon Boutillier, we put it into Brandon Galligan's bag. Good catch, man. Good catch. Why we, everything is done on camera. The camera makes a evidence, a paper trail, if you will. And we can use that paper trail to fix these problems. Okay. So Brandon Boutillier says, actually, that was mine. <laughs> Thank you, mister. No problem. I'm happy to fix that for you. I would want it fixed because that's the, uh, you know, that's the right thing, obviously. There we go. That's a Brandon Boutillier bag. Now that's pod racing. There we go. My pit bull senses are tingling. <laughs> it's pit bull man. I'll protect you from that 
horrible child. Pitbull man, save me! All right, so let's update this slab real fast. Okay, so it says here 4.6K a long time ago. Probably in 2019 is my guess. Okay, probably 2019. And then it looks like... So this would have been 2020. It went to uh, 7K in... 8 2020 and then up here it says in in December of 2021 it went for 7k 12.21 oh this should say 20 oops not 22 all right now and then 9.5k on 8.22 actually we're going to write down last sold and it's going to be at about, we're going to make it a guess that it sold for 8.5 in 22. And then for today, we're in 123. We're going to write down not available. 1.23. There we go. 6.5K. Was there a way to look it up? I know people mention there's, I, I've heard there's a way to look it up. 6.5K, that's a pretty steep discount from their list price, huh? Maybe they were desperate to sell. Brakes, how do you know for 6.5K? 6.5K, wow, that's a big discount. Actually, it's making me want to change the sleeves. All right, give me a minute. Pop this in here. There we go. Preserve virginity. Here we go. Actually, let's write this down as 4.6K in probably 2019, probably. And there used to be 46 in the population. And I'm just going to make this easy on myself, actually. We're just going to say NA on 123. And I want to know what the ending population on this is. So give me a second. Dark Magneton, huh? Oops. So Dark Magneton first edition is Pop 61. All right, there we go. Very fascinating. You need to repo the Southern Island Mew. Due to the payment back in September, it is now January. And it's Sabaway back in September. What? All right, I'll do it. And then I'll give it to some other guy. <laughs> cool, man. All right. The table looks really nice. And we can continue now. Here's Jesse. R oh, did we fill up Lost Thunder? No. Jesse Ransom. Two grades, two poker cards. I have a bag. Okay, let's get you those cards. Why delete, says Tibbies. Here we are. Mister, do it during daytime stream. What are we doing da during daytime stream? Here we are. One... I think writing all the information down got me, like, bored with it. Here's two. You can see most offer accepted prices in the research tab on eBay. Yeah, people said that last time. I need to look that up on Google, how to look up the, the uh, research tab. Is Lost Thunder... Why would you need to go to a research tab? You think they could just show you what it sold for? Love that Umbreon. They, they, what is it? They're hiding the information until you go to another page? It's kind of silly if you think about it. Repo Southern Island Mew so you can actually get my money for it. All right, Jesse Ransom. Oh, look at this. Two poker cards, Parasect and Clee Fable. Those are the best. You want a little bonus one? I'll get you the Among Us. He's a little mushroom. Four months, almost a guy just making it sit there. It's very silly. One spot left, Lost Thunder. I lost my V-card to a pocket stop. So Jesse Ransom, let me grab your bag. Okay, Jesse Ransom. Ha-ha! Now, he says grade two cards. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you ready? So my first choice is going to be Lugia. My second choice is going to be... Hmm. Hanging down boobies girl. I call dips, says Ukino. I had somebody contact me in private message asking about the Southern Island Mew. There we go. I don't remember who that was. Might be one of you guys. There we go. I'll let you own a, a tenth of a percentage. Oh, wow. That's a good deal, guys. How much to lay away the umbrella slab? Umbrella! I love umbrellas. That old card room was a mess at the old house. Oh, yeah, it was horrible. Here we are. Is umbrella yum? A C ransom. Thanks, guys. Trying to get to 30 grades per day to keep John extra busy. Jesse? But what if we buy 10 shares? Here we are. Yeah, what if we buy 10 shares? You know, I feel like I need a box up there instead of a stack. Let me see. It'd be nice if I had an ETB laying around somewhere. There's one. I love ETBs. Blah. Really reaching there. Maximizing my reach. Did Lost Thunder happen? No. You can give my money to own part of it. Awesome concept, right? Yeah. I get to keep it in my house, but you get to think that you get some of it. <laughs> there we go. Next up, Olivia Hunnikin, express grade with timestamp for my Aerodactyl Poker. I have a $6 cut. Uh, oh, you got it, man. There's that. And then Olivia. I would never try and force a repo. Think of the children. Olivia. It's If it's ever liquidated, do we just get our money back or 10% of the profit? Osvaldo. Omar. Osmar. Omar. OSM. Timestamp my Aerodactyl. Well, I don't even see it. Hold on. So here's Octavio. Oh, right here. I'm. You <laughs> he had a very thin bag. Okay, here we are. With the timestamp, huh? That's interesting. Because a poker card didn't come out of an actual booster pack. Hey, put that, pop that back in there. Uh, and we want to grab one of these. How to find the research tab. Sounds good. Thanks, man. Thank you, Olivia. Olivia Hunnikin. Express QR. Ever drop a booster box or a case? Um, no, actually. It's very, very rare for that anything like that to happen. Sven says two live customs. Okay, this is for Sven Jansen. One, two. I'm sorry, Sven. Sven, those live customs are tougher th now that they get shuffled, huh? All right, here we are. They're very, very random. But he does say a pokey bra. Listen, how about this pokey bra? You get a good pokey bra? Kabuto. Oh, you got Karen's Umbreon. That's lovely. Great card. Hey, that's cool. Look at this. We have a Karen's Umbreon on the table, and that's the new modern Karen's Umbreon. This one looks like he got all grown up and huge. This one's much cuter, I think, the old one. Should have been a wide receiver. Here we are. So Sven Jensen. 
Well, now, wait a second. He needs two of the Merlin stickers as well. You got it, man. <laughs> All right. Gengar? He got gang up on us. Can't speak. What the hell? Dude, this was sticking to the Paris really hard. Actually, I don't keep the Gengar in the front anyways. He's cooler. How much is that Lugia over there, mister? He's not for sale. He's just for looking at. Derek Caton of the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> you guys are funny. Here's Nido Queen. Ooh. Oh, no, wait a second. <laughs> we only opened one pack. It's just that your pack had two hollows in it. Let's see what the second pack held. You got the floor mattress? That's right. We're sleeping on the floor. You ain't selling the Umbreon? No. None of it's for sale. We're just showing it off. Those are some of the cards for my personal collection. Here's Pikachu. Pikachu. Cute little Pikachu. And another Pikachu. Pikachu and Ash in this collection. Sent another order. I need pokies. <laughs> That's great. All right, there we go. Me too, man. I have a bag, so Sven. Okay. Floor fun. <laughs> you already know. You doc. Are these good to grade? Uh, I would argue that if you could get a 10 on these, yes. The tricky part is getting a 10 on them. So, like... Watch this. Let's zoom. Look at how off center that is. Real thin on the bottom, out on the left. So it's tricky to get tens on these sticker cards. I mean, I've I've graded a lot of them. Every now and then, like one of them actually has a shot at a ten. Mister, you should stretch. Yeah, actually, I should go get a glass of water and stretch. Okay. Jordan Estrada, four of the new Final Fantasies. You got it. There they are. Four. What's the best Merlin sticker pull? Well, there's there's uh, like two or three Charizards non-hollow in the set. But actually, my favorite pull is the Gengar. There's a holographic Gengar. Stretch what? <laughs> Should do some push-ups live. Stretch Candice. Mm, Nash. Lightning. Luna Freya. They look nice. At least I'm going to grade them, I think. Here's Lightning Hollow. Nice. Red Mage. Okay. Imitation Despot. Okay. Woohoo! Be water, my friend. What? Do some... <laughs> That's right. Just like in um, that one movie. <laughs> Lightning. Oh, wow. That's for Joran Estrada. Mr. Only Blank. What it benefits him? Oh, I don't think I needed this anymore, did I? Yeah, we took care of this. Okay, cool. We have an order from Ben Wright, who wants one Lost Thunder, one Evolving Skies. You have a bag for me. Ben... Right. Flex those muscles. He's a bit like a machoke. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's right. One evolving skies. How's like getting winded moving in? It's like, when did it get so hard to climb up the stairs over and over? <laughs> when did I get so... When did I get so weak? Ben! I'm sorry, Ben. You got cold ones. Bruno Ben Wright. Anyone ever wonder what it would be like to have two peepees? There we go. Tibbies is thinking about having two uh, two peepees at the same time. Wow. Isao Perez. Am I saying your name wrong? Five paradigms. I know some girls have that fantasy too. Mr. Lost Thunder Time. No, it's not. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Sell the Umbreon, mister. You need money for your mortgage. 
That would be awesome. Okay, there we go. Tibby's gay confirmed. Here's Dragonite. Hold. Hold. Uh, this guy, Chestnuts. Not like that, says Tibby's Bellinger. Oh, it's too late, Tibby's. That's going to be your identity on this stream from now on. All right, Esau. Everyone's going to remember him that way. Okay, Ephraim, Ethan. Aha! Y'all better make sure Alex gets his mod powers back. He will. <laughs> when somebody orders a demod, it only lasts for like one day. And then I make $15 for pressing a button. <laughs> Not really $15, but there we go. Good night, mister, and everyone. Oh, have a nice night. What a nice thing to say. All right, what else we got? Oh, this is kind of nice. Look at this pristine dark Charizard. That's cool. Venusaur 10. Ooh. Another dark Magneton. I got two of them. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Actually, this is cool. This is English first edition Team Rocket 9.5. How about that? So that should go for cheaper than a 10. Venus or 10. That's cool, bro. Bong hit time. All right. Ricardo Rebels, one V-Star universe. What's up, Ricardo? And live shipping. I have a first edition Lugia. How much it can cost? Two bucks. Bong hit time. Beep. You ready, Ricardo? Oh, not bad, man. Super Dan, aren't you supposed to go to bed? Perfect condition. Yeah. All right, good. Now he says, I have a bag. Says Ricardo Robles. Thanks for telling me. That looks like Ricardo Robles. Chu Calvin says, can I place an order? Yes, sir. Go ahead. What wave time is it? 4.11? Uh, okay, you better order right away, though. Because it is sleepy by time. That's why my eyes feel heavy. Oh, wait. We're shipping this. Okay. Ooh. Nom, 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 nom. Doody, doody, doody. Make Mr. Open that box. Oops. Gotta be careful with that. Okay. It's actually one spot, right? Ben Wright, ben Wright took one of them. Uh, we have Jennifer Yap. Two spots in the tops break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Jennifer, there is only one spot left. Okay. I'll place you in there, and then we'll get you a spot in the next round. Is that okay? Unless you want them both in the, the next pack break. Here we are. That's the next one. Okay, place this up here now. And then this is Jennifer Yap. Pack break time! Are you guys ready? I'm going to call no more orders, guys. It's 4.13 a.m. That's a bit early. I still got work to do, okay? So I got work to do when the live stream's down. So we're calling no more orders at this point. All right, someone give me a number. One more, Russ. Ooh, so good. One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, Jason Allen. Here goes. Oh, good. Pack feels so good. I hate it when the pack's sticky, though. All right, snipping it is. Passes over here. Perfect. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm a little tired here, so I was peeling it in a way where we'd reveal the ending. Very nice. Okay. Garrett Wixon. Mr. Garrett. Yeah, no more orders, guys. He gets Farewell Team Rocket. Hmm. Let's see. Greg Brown, Garrett Wixon. Mm -hmm. Professor Oak definitely bottoms, says Tibby's Bellinger. If it's going to cost way too much to ship, I won't be able, until I get paid laws, I have enough to pay cards. Yeah, it costs a little extra to ship all the way to the UK. Here's Jennifer Yap. Oh, Jennifer. Sweet, sweet Jennifer. Here's Introductions. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that one. Okay. And now we've got, oh, no, no, no. Paul Newman. Oh, wow. Beast of the Sea is a great pull, man. Paul Newman. I like stuck Charizard. Lance Weiss. Now, did Lance ship? I don't remember. Hello, Pokemon. Did he ship and start a new bag? I think he shipped. Okay, new bag for him. <laughs> I like this song a lot. There we go. I'm going to take screenshots of the movies and make my own. What? <laughs> Jennifer Yap. All right. A new friend. We could be friends. Jennifer Yap. Oh, Jennifer. Does that mean you missed the hollow by one? Farewell, Lugia. We got Mr. Hardeep. I can't believe it. Mr. Hardeep, I believe he pulls the holographic card. He gets Prophecy of the Future Hollow. Congratulations, Mr. Hardeep. Mm. Wow. That's very lucky, actually. Is there going to be a daytime stream later? So tomorrow's Tuesday, and there's no guaranteed daytime stream, but I'm interested Here's Aaron B. Gordon. Okay, Aaron B. Gordon. With Professor Oak's finding. Aw. He found something. I can't believe how unbelievably hard this is to reach for. Ah, oh, there we go. Whew. Driving to work, watching Mr. <laughs> nice. There we go. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of the pack break, but we just got a new one running. David says, two Star Wars Galaxy One. Okay, David Morris. I have a small bag, says David. Nice. Alex beat it ran for me while joking, do it. I let him unload you again. What? What are you saying? Sleep. <laughs> okay. Perfect. 
but sometimes you need that little extra sneak. David Mores. I got the Lugia. Oh, Jennifer, we still got to put your cards back up in your bag. Yeah, so Jen, you didn't get the holographic card, but you secretly did pretty good. Okay, that's because I'm getting sleepy, guys. Yeah, check it out. Your cards overall are pretty nice. You got this lovely introduction card. Then Pikachu, Electabuzz, Electakid, and Farewell Lugia, Electakid. Nice. The On contrast, the holographic card was kind of a messy card. It was like it didn't have Pokemons on it. I took the whack to Poland. What? All right, what we got? Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, and some more Darth Vader. Some Darth Vader cards here, man. Okay. How about pack number two? Oh. We got these two. Darth Vader. All right. No edge card this time. Night, TCC. Get some sleep. Yeah, I need some sleep, guys. So we're wrapping up. No more new orders. We're going to finish off the orders that we got. There's a nice long line, so there's plenty of orders to watch get opened. Thank you, David. We've got Jesse Ransom. One more order. He wants a pokey. Jesse Ransom. Oh, Fletchender, Zerkatry. Zerkatry, huh? Oh, there's a little Pikachu there, too, huh? It's good to note. One poker. Poker? I barely know her. That's going to be this. Magikarp! One V-Star. Okay, one V-Star. Lovely. And this is a cold one. <laughs> That's V-Star. One more bulk grade. Thanks, man, he says. Oh, one more bulk grade, you say? Hmm. How's that Pikachu look? Hmm. It's very borderline. What the circuitry? He's kind of close. Hmm. Nice, down the bottom. All right. Jesse Ransom, let's grab your bag. One more bulk grade, you said. Take a look in the here again before we make a decision. Uh, well, I might go for another booty card. I think the booty cards are easy. easy. Uh, well, I don't know, actually. You just got this girl with the ladle. What's up, Mr. Jorge Trejo? Hmm. I was hoping for something good out of there, lol. Well, I mean, I could grade the Zerka tree. He's looking slightly off center, top to bottom, and he's Zerka tree. Uh, you got Pikachu. He's real borderline. This is Al Creamy. Uh, does this have a chance at a 10? A little off center. No. Magikarp. Gold Duck Poker looks good, says Jason Allen. Spit off center. This one's close, but it's also a bit off center. Yeah, I don't know what to choose, man. I do like poker. Uh, okay, let's send out the um, Magic Heart Poker card then. Damn, he says. <laughs> Jesse Ransom. Thanks, Jesse. If only you'd pulled Gyarados. Okay, somebody else pulled a Gyarados. Cold night, says Jesse. Uh-uh! So hot. What are you talking about? There we go. We have an order for... Charles Brucker. 
I should have had around 100 after you took back the 10% for the reverse facade away, so I'll take 16 Silver Tempest and live shipping of my two Suicune's Chinese are done. They should be. I paid for wall through. I should have had around 100. So it it, it bothers me that you're doing a guesstimate. Um, you're, you're probably right. I, I believe you. I think what I need to do, though, Charles, is I need to keep unpacking and we need to locate the little box where I was holding everyone's store credit. There's a little plastic box, right? And it keeps everyone's store credit in it. And I, I would like to reference that card and make sure that you get everything you're entitled to. I don't want to make any guesstimates, you know what I mean? So, um, but I can write a note down. 16 Silver Tempest and live shipping. All right. He said, what? Silver Tempest? Silver Tempest. Live shipping. Okay. Store credit. Are any slabs on the table for sale? We're just showing those off. There we go. We have Sven Jensen, two Merlin series, uh, Merlin series cards, and then five bulk grades. Maybe some nice stickers. Oh, sounds good, man. Okay, so now we're looking for stickers to grade. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at that, a double hit. A Bulbasaur. And how about in here? Kuna Vaplume. Oh, we got to do the Blastoise, obviously. Okay, Blastoise it is. Have a nice day, mister. Says America's favorite hoarder. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. There's the Blastoise. Oops. Would I do Vaplume? Probably not. I think Vaplume's a little stinky. Vaplume, I noticed, is not a very popular Pokemon in the TCG. Just, there's just not a lot of Vaplumes that people go crazy over. I don't think there's any Valplumes people go crazy over. There we go. So there's Pikachu. And then let's grab your box. Yeah, I like that Pikachu a lot, Sven. <sighs> okay. Just taking a look at all that. Um, so you're interested in the stickers, and I, I noted this Gengar, so we'll grab this Gengar. Mm -hmm -hmm. Cool. And then I like this Pikachu a lot. American Hoarder is my uncle. I thought you lost it. Did you even reverse the Cyberway? Can you check? Uh, I did not lose it. We're we're in the middle of moving, so there's still some boxes. And so if you're telling me that we canceled a Sabawe and wrote it down as store credit, I, I just need to access that store credit card box wherever it's packed away to. Does that make sense? We are Machoke and Nido Queen. I need to do that before we open we start opening packs so that we know exactly what went on. If you've got store credit, yeah, I want to spend it for you. I just need to make sure that it exists. Maybe the Umbreon from the Pokey Bro. From the Pokey Bro. Okay, maybe the Umbreon. That's not a bad choice, actually. Yeah, that's a good one. Jesus, this storm in California. You guys were getting a lot of rain. You guys ready for floods? This is Sven Jansen, right? I got you, but you may have never actually reversed the Cyberway. Oh, it's right in the front. Here it is. Didn't expect that. All right. Sven Jansen. So you're saying you had me cancel a pokey... I'm sorry, a slab away. Is that what you're telling me? You had me cancel a slab away. And then you asked me to do what with it? Turn it into store credit. Is that right? Then the next step is to locate the... He says yes. So then the next step is to locate the store credit box. I don't have it at the moment because we just moved and there's like a thousand things that have all been moved now. 
and I have to relocate it. It's a very small thing. It's just a small little box, and it holds a packet of energy cards with all the store credit on it. And so it's not a surprise that I haven't found it instantly. We're still unpacking. I say that we're about 90% done. Just want to make sure you actually did it. I likely did. Yeah, if you're not in the slab away, I definitely would not have removed you from slab away without writing you down for store credit. There we go. The legend in the building, Matt. There we go, that's Pikachu and Ash. Here's Gengar. But so we're going to have to find that box before we can continue any further. And I'm in the Lost Thunder, right? He asks. Um, I see you on number 22, so it looks like it. Yo, there's Pikachu. Going to drink after stream after saying we're moving. There we go. We have a cyclone where I am, too. It's not even bad in California. We don't experience real storms. What? You experience a storm of emotions, don't you? <laughs> the bad man kicked Baxter over the bridge. Oh, I'm in a glass cage. <laughs> glass cage of emotion. Sven Jansen. It's really bad, says Alex. You're bad. Bad to the bone, do 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 do. Bad to the bone, do 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 do. Ba 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 bad. Do 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 do. Sven Jansen. Ba 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 bad. This guy must be an alien. Who's an alien? Let's turn these sideways. I think. Okay, like this. Oh, that's better. I like that a lot better. There we go. That's better. John got work. I'm happy for that. We got to keep John busy, guys. Jordan Estrada says, last order, three paradigm triggers. Time to go outside, says Alex. Three of the new Final Fantasies. One, two, and a three. Two V-Star universe. There they are. All right. Mm. Nice double stream today, huh? The daytime stream was so busy. And I started it super late, like a goofball. Come on now. There we go. You guys are accepting vintage for mail-ins, right? Uh, in theory, I am. If it's too important of a vintage card, probably I will deject it. So I have, I have the ab ability to reject cards that I'm not comfortable grading yet. Also, you'll note that mailing grades do not get the special um, qualifier on the back. We have a qualifier on the back of our cards that says open live and graded. So if you have a card you graded that you open up here, it gets that qualifier. Actually, I think I can show it off because we had that one slab, didn't we? Yes, so Joey Barton just won this. So this says... Open live and graded. And that's a great way to know that the slab you're buying was not a mail-in. It, it came straight off the table, which means the other person never had a chance to touch the card. It was always in my hands. Here's Selfie. She going to take a selfie. There we go. Quistus and Fran... If I sent in some vintage, that's pretty beat up. Would that be okay? Yeah, I think that actually would be fine. Here we are. Alina and Vesalis. There you go. Nothing crazy coming out of these Final Fantasies from my point of view. Mr. is like Allstate. <laughs> that's true. Here's Numel. You'll be in good feet. Okay, Numel Ditto. Okay. And Doggo. Thank you, Jorn. Busy night, huh, Jorn? Ooh, starting to sit down too long. I can feel I can feel the achiness creep in. Only two full arts per box, says Jorn. There we go. 
This chips tunes music makes me think of like banjo music, but like for the future. You know what I mean? <laughs> Chu Calvin, three shiny stars. You have a shiny star, no matter who you are. All right. Let's agree. We all got duped. <laughs> all of us. Not my fault. <laughs> he duped all of us. <laughs> Boy, that was some cringy words, man. Isn't that funny? He trying to he trying to bl blame his customers for picking the wrong item out. <laughs> oh, not my fault. You got duped just like me. <laughs> no, you helped get get Logan Paul duped. You gave the box the authentic grade. All right, here's. Zammy Zenta. What a big oof, man. What do you think happened to that company afterwards? Okay. Reggie Lecky. It's funny. If they're, if they're just fine, that's funny. Oh, Chew Calvin. Those were horrible, man. Chew Calvin. Those were real cold. I'm sorry, man. I don't like to see that. I like to see you pull hot ones only. Those shiny stars, man. There we go. Oops, come on now. All right. I'm sorry about that, True Calvin. Where Dark Chars are sitting every fourth picks at the flame on his tail. What? Jesse Salinas, one pokey bra. This is for Jesse Salinas. Okay, we got Mewtwo, Moltres Aptos, Articuno. And then we got a bunch of these sticker cards. Okay, I think this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. It's not bad. Jesse Salinas. Oh, Jesse. Those Pokebras are very random. You really don't know what you're gonna get. Something changed. Something snapped. Something inside of me snapped. <laughs> I don't know how that quote goes. And then something changed. Something inside of me just snapped. I didn't care about being Kakarot. Aaron Bradley Gordon says, Hey, Mr. Bullgrade, the NBA K Cunningham. It's a rookie, but the rookie symbol is on the bottom left. Donate $2 to the burner. You got it. That burner slab getting closer and closer to 96. Oh. <laughs> Once it gets down to that last hundred, it's going to be crazy because people are going to start. I know how it works. People start donating at that point. They're like, all right, <laughs> last hundred. We might as well get there. They, they get a lot more interested when they think it's going to happen soon. You said what? Cade Cunningham rookie card? Careful, you'll catch secondhand yawns. Okay, not there. Did I miss it? Kate Cunningham, the rookies. Very interesting. You got it. Cool. Mr. Cade. And this goes in the A1 box. Blech. I don't like that sleeve. Throw that one away, actually. Mm hmm. Look at those orange ones. Don Rust is Panini now, right? Mister, would you be interested? No. Two PSA 10s of the SP Pikachu and Kramer on Japanese promo. I really would not. I mostly just buy very expensive vintage at this point. If you're wanting to take your card and sell it well below market so that I can sell it on a profit, I'll do that. Um, that's kind of like what EB Games did or whatever, right? Uh, so I can work with you on that if you're not confident with selling your own cards or you're 
just not wanting to, like you'd like me to do the work for you. We can do that. Um, but as for collecting, I want something like this, man. I want like a $9,000, $7,000, $6,000 dark magneton or whatever, like a Venusaur 10. So I'm usually collecting the expensive ones. Here's Aaron B. Gordon. I definitely don't like Pikachu. I'm not a big Pikachu fan. Not a Pikachu fan. Pikachu, he's like too common or something. Here's Jennifer Yap. Three packs Merlin Series 3. Whoa! Jennifer, I'm loving this order. Are you ready? So the goal with the... Here it is. So the goal with these is to pull a Lugia. But there's some other good pulls in there too. They're extremely rare. These cards are extremely rare. Here they are. I look at the payment from someone that owned me, but thanks. Oh, I see what you're saying. Didn't Jen have credit? No, did she? Okay, here goes. Hair cross, hop it, togepi. All right, nice. You got a spinner rack in that pack. Gotta love those stickers. Well, especially the Series 3 stickers. Those are the same ones that I would be interested in uh, opening and grading. Okay, we got Belossum, Belossum. Gligar, Chikovita. Hmm. Her offering you a sealed Southern Island box set. Who is? I've heard of those. I've never opened one. I should make a video of myself opening one. You have a chance for the... Oh! <laughs> wow, that is some unusually good luck, Jennifer Yap. You got the Lugia Chase sticker out of the set. How about that? Now, there's about four of these in a box, so there's probably still a chance for another one in that box. But this is the best hollow to pull from here. Nice job, Jennifer. All right. How about that? And there's your Wobbuffet. Not Wobbuffet. There's your Quagsire. Nice job. Jen, that's good. I'm pretty sure there's four Lugias per box, and that's the chase pull. Four of those hollow ones. Okay. Good night, former likes until 100. Let's get Mr. there. <laughs> GG's on the pull. Mr., just the tip has a Southern Iowa Sealed set for you for sale. Just the tip! <laughs> oh, wow. I think that was the last order. Woohoo! All right. Perfect ending to a perfect stream, guys. That was a nice four hour stream. I think it, it matches nicely with the hour and a half stream we did earlier today. So I'm going to wrap up here and get to work on the next thing because I got more work to do. See you later.